Yo, 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 welcome back to a No Records podcast with yes, your host, DWK Darius, and we're back again with episode four of my No Records podcast. I'm here with my brother. You already know, Corey Petty, you feel me? Yeah. From Rock Creek Terrace, from Englewood, New Jersey. Two time state champion, T Neck, you feel me? Two rings. That's all I got to say, nigga. Look me up. Let me stop. You heard the first thing you said was, he's from, what did you say he's from? Some, I'm from Englewood, New Jersey, Rock Creek. Nah, he ain't from Englewood, y'all. You live in. I'm not from T Neck. He from the, where the white people live at, bro. That's crazy. You don't even, he didn't even say you from Brooklyn, bro. I mean, respectfully, most of your viewers is from. Jersey right now. So <laughs> I ain't gonna hit him with the Brooklyn. I am from Brooklyn though. I lived in Brooklyn for fourteen years of my life. So now nah, but everybody love Brooklyn now. Around where we live, everybody love Brooklyn. Yeah, but I'm in Jersey right now, bro. I'm from Englewood, New Jersey, Rock Creek. It's cause of Pop Smoke, bro. Didn't you say Pop Smoke? Yeah. That's why everybody love Brooklyn. R. I. P. the dog. Yeah, nah, Pop Smoke goes crazy in Brooklyn. At least twenty twenty he did when I was working at Target. Yeah. Going crazy. All you see is woo 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 woo. Everything. Man. Both of my favorite rappers died. First, Pop Smoke died, and then oh King, yeah, King Von. King Von died. So you heard what they did to Pop Smoke Grave, bro? Yeah, I seen it. That was. I don't think it's true. I don't you think don't think really, so? I don't think it's true. They said it said they vandalized the the monument. They said they about they pulled that nigga casket out. Nah, that ain't true. The podcast started right. Oh yeah, this we gotta still we gotta uh, state our pronouns, bro. <laughs> What's your pronoun? I mean, I'm I'm going by them and they right now. No, you're nah. not. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a non-binary tiger. Yo. <laughs> Respect my pronouns, please. <laughs> no, bro, because there's really people that do that shit. You got you to gotta say it. State your pronouns, bro. What Fuck that shit, nigga. You want to be an a object? <laughs> no, bro. It's, it's 2020, 21, almost 2022, yo. Like, this is the world we live in. So you I got, can call myself a that? No. I mean, you can call yourself whatever you want, for real. You could be a spoon if you really wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> they can't tell you if you wanted to be a spoon. They can't tell you you're not a spoon. Me and Tone was talking about that shit about how niggas want to be theys and that's. Yeah, that's. I don't even want to be called a, a they. Like. What you want to be called? That's again? like that's degrading though. Like that a is. They. That's worse than a he, a he or she. she. Like that's a they or them. That's like equivalent to a piece of gum on your shoe. That's what I'm saying. Like that's that. What is that? So that's just, but those are your pronouns though. Okay, I'm 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 a I'm a non-binary tiger. You feel me? I I'm. A tiger. A non-binary tiger. So, that's what I am. <laughs> So what is that what's that supposed to be though? Know? Like I don't know. It just sounds good. It don't sound cool. It do like, sound tough. I ain't like, gonna lie. Let's say I just present in the middle of the class, like, yo, I'm a non binary tiger. Niggas gonna look at me like, What? What is that? That sounds so elegant and shit. You know? <laughs> Majestic, you know. Nah, if you say that shit in like a philosophy class, the teacher will look at you like yo. I might get I might get kicked out for real, because he might think I'd be making fun of him. Low like, key. Like, oh, you see, you're not serious. What were we saying about Pop Smoke? I forgot. He uh What's it called? His a uh, grave got like dug up or some shit like that. Nah, yeah, that's not true. Like who would who would like who would do that and not get caught? This surveillance like a cemetery. All I the time. guess, but like you never know. I mean, who like whatever? You them know? GD niggas, all them chose. What is that shit called? It's, that's unnecessary though. <laughs> that's like, very. I mean, did like, they? He's dead already. Like, like you won. He's dead. I mean, I think because niggas vandalized one of their homies' graves. I think oh, his name was like so Nick they Blicky. Went for, they, Nick Blicky? Yeah, he he's said, dead now? Yeah. I heard of a Nick Blicky. He's dead now? Nah, he died like two years ago. Oh. They right. say he got shot by a shotgun like five times. God damn. Like, what about, like, twice wasn't enough? Nah, like, bro. They said they turned back around, shot that nigga body on the ground. It's like shit. the dude from Chicago shot himself. You ever seen his death picture? Is that the nigga that dissed G Herbo? I don't know what he did. Is he dark skinned? Yeah, but. Yeah, that's that, like They shot him in his face like 13 times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the nigga and that. took a picture of his, like, face and, like, like, that's OD. Like, really? Like, what did you do? Like, like that's yo. I, no, I, if a nigga ever do that to me, bro, like, you haunting that nigga? Yes, bro. Like, nah. <laughs> I, I need niggas to slide. Like, there's no way that gonna let people do that. But Get you know why he died though, right? Which one? He made that uh, the nigga from Chicago. I mean, he made a diss. That's why all of them died for real. That, but yeah. he dissed G Herbo, bro. You can't diss G Herbo without I mean, dying, bro. You know, people diss Lil Reese and all the old Lil Reese don't die though. I'm telling you, bro. That he's really he's dead, bro. He's just he's a walking. He's a zombie. <laughs> he's a walking. T- <laughs> he's got, a, you ever watch you watch Game of Thrones? He's a White Walker. I I heard of it before. Oh, I never watched no Game of Thrones though. Never mind, man. He's a White Walker, bro. He's really dead. What's a White Walker? Like they're they're zombies, bro. Like they Game dead. of Thrones isn't Game of Thrones like knights in shining armor? Yeah, there's and zombies shit? in it too. What the fuck? There's ice zombies. The ice zombies. I need to watch that. That sounds interesting. It's a great, great show. That's I the shit with the.
right? Yeah, he, that's my favorite character in the show. You know, there's a guy up the street that he's a look just like him. For real? Maybe if we drive past, I hope he's outside. He looked just like us. That's fucked up if you hope the is outside. No. <laughs> we, no. we objectifying <laughs> this out. <laughs> Sorry, we can't, call, we, you know we can't say no more. But I don't get it. I would rather be called a than a little person. Me too. That's I feel like that's Matt more degrading. Are you a little person or you a Yeah. My, I, we all, my dad had an old dog. His name was Duke. This is before Bishop. Um, and he, he said whenever he seen a he would like freak out like the dog would just <laughs> this that goes go crazy and like but it was only when he see Mitch like, it was like he just didn't understand that the concept of a of a small person of a small person that's not a child are you serious like he said the dog would go retarded whenever he seen what the fuck seen a a, 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 little, a little person a little person I'm sorry no, I'm sorry <laughs> little, little person you ever seen a a baby little person. No. I've seen one when we went to it's Wildwood. It's probably so funny. It's so rare. It's like, they look like a kid, but like their body's like a little more mature, but they're not big. And it's, it was like a four-year-old little... Oh my gosh, it's, that's probably so funny. Like, I was like, what the fuck? I've never a, seen that a shit baby before. baby little person. Like, oh my gosh, I got to Google that. <laughs> a, baby. a baby little person. Like, and I seen, there was some person on TikTok, like, she's a bitch, but her son's normal. Yo, how would you feel? Like, let's say... Like, how did the baby come out? Let's say, like, what if y'all have a man, bro? I'm not gonna lie. I love him. I love him still. I make fun of him a little bit. I'll be like, I'll kick him on. I'll kick him down once in a while. I'll be like, Yo, fuck out of here. If I have a man, bro, I'm throwing him out. <laughs> Yo, you're wild. Like, nah, I'm like, yo, nah, it's not mine. Give me, give me my, can I get a different baby, please? <laughs> you gonna disown him? Nah, I ain't gonna disown him, but he, he, he's gonna have a bad life. Yeah. He, he, he's gonna have a, like, Better chance having a different father, yo. Nah, he gonna enjoy himself. You gonna No, I'm gonna make fun of him every day. <laughs> <laughs> like he's gonna like either be he's gonna be really strong minded, he's gonna be famous because like nothing can hurt his feelings. Or he's just gonna be depressed. Or he's gonna just be to kill himself one day. <laughs> I'm gonna make fun of him every single day. Like as soon as he like could talk, yo, big ass head. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, free that guy, bro. Yeah, if my dad watched this, he's never going to hear me curse so much. I don't curse around my dad. I don't like, either. I'm letting it rip right now. So, <laughs> they hear it, they hear it. My mom hear me curse. I don't care no more about my nah, mom. No, my dad, the first time I heard the podcast, he's like, why you curse so much? Yeah, that's gonna, my dad going to watch this episode. He's going to f- figure it out a lot. He's going to go, you said that? But, you know, I said but don't your dad curse a lot? Yeah, he don't care. Like He know, oh, okay. I, he know I curse. He just know I don't curse around him. He know I curse. Though. Oh, okay. I mean, that makes sense. So, yeah. Here's an F-bomb for you. Let me stop. <laughs> would you when you raise your kid do you think you'll allow them to curse I I, I think I would allow them to curse like I what age 14 15 high school high school you could curse around okay me. okay if you, if you have the confidence to start earlier like if you like to say it at like, an earlier age I, I like I might just let it rock would you curse around your kids like when yeah. they're young yeah cause like I heard there's like a there's like a, I seen some shit on TikTok it was like a family was like they're like, I don't care about cursing for my kids. The kid's like three. It's like, they're going to say it anyways. Yeah, I don't, nah, I'm going to curse. It's my like, grandma's going to curse. Like, my mom's going to curse around the kid, so yeah. why would it not curse? I'm not going to be like, sense. yo, don't curse. Guess what? They're going to hear it eventually. They're going to watch TV. They're going to listen to music. They're going to go to school. And other they're going to say it anyways. Cursing. Crazy, though, like, like, what's the significant, like, who said ass was a curse? That's what me and Fresh were talking about the other day. Like, who says these are curses? Yeah, like, why can't spoon be a curse? What oh. in the spoon? <laughs> When this spoon, this spoon and water fell on my foot. Like, why can't spoon be a curse? I don't know, but that's mad. It's like we just put like meaning to different words. Like, why is that word a curse? That's what I'm saying, like, like why can't this cap wa- be a curse? Like, yo, you you cap, like you cap. You, yeah, you cap it. Yo, with the cap, bro. I was gonna say you cap me. That's bad, gay. Yes. <laughs> yo, yeah, I don't. You don't cap me. <laughs> nah, that could be the f word. Yo, bro. Edit breaks. I could cough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Quincy fucking yeah. Quincy tried to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't got COVID. Quincy Quincy Weatherford tried to murder me. Put him in a chokehold and he almost went night night. Almost went night night for sure. No, nah, I almost seen God. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but so the reason why I really brought you here is because next to be on the bench. Yo, bro. this yeah facts. Not nah, anybody that ever came to a Rutgers Newark game, you you already know you're gonna see you're gonna see Darius to the left. And I'm always to the right of this go. This, this, this has been my bro. guy since freshman year. 
And oh. I'm not playing this year, so it's gonna be he's gonna have to find a new bitch buddy, and nah. that's gonna make me jealous. Nigga, I'm gonna be sad as hell. It's gonna be awkward. I'm gonna have like the freshman next thing. I don't need that shit. Nah, but this is really my guy right here. Freshman year, he didn't want to talk to nobody. Respectfully, I, and I though. kept trying. Like, nah, this this, <laughs> this little Asian this little Asian kid gonna keep trying to. He's gonna talk to us, bro. Yeah, this this guy just practice it, go home with some weirdo shit. Cause I was just trying to hoop, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> we walk on. It was bro. always it was always you and Rasheed that was trying the most. Bro, Cause we was walk ons, bro. We had to stick together, bro. <laughs> I was a real walk on though. Like, I, yeah, like you had the practice and shit. I didn't do that shit. Yeah, but we were still we got treated the same, bro. We did. They yo they used to fucking hoe us, bro. Got treated the same through the four years, bro. Four years of hoeing us. But nah, we used to have some good rituals on the bench though. Like I'm saying, the, tuck the Thule, bro. Tuck the Thule. That shit really worked, but you know, couldn't yeah. win his games though. Nah, uh, you could throw it, me, you could throw me the Thule in the stands. I'll be in the stands. Now I'll be in. I'll be on the table. Just throw me the Thule. I got you, but somebody gotta hold that. I'll shit, hold bro. the Thule, bro. I got you. Nah, but for the people that know what the Thule is, bro. So me and Corey sit on the bench. So we keep number three in our pants. Like you can't keep uh -huh. that shit outside, or that shit not gonna work. And whenever somebody shoot a three, you gotta take that shit out. Uh huh. And whenever we take it out, that shit always go in, bro. Always. But you I mean, can't abuse that shit. Yeah, if you abuse it, it's just like you know. Max, like it's not gonna work. It's, it's not, not gonna, gonna work. It's like use your use your gill up charm. You feel me? Yeah. Remember the spray? <coughs> the spray. The bear spray. The bear spray. The bear spray. We yeah. had bear spray for niggas on the free throw line. We'd be like, Tss, and that yeah, shit would niggas actually dead miss. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, yo, lot. Locke needed us, bro. That's what I'm saying. Locke don't even know. He cut me. He don't even know I got the bear spray. Guess what? <laughs> Mad free throws. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga's about to make a hell of free throws, but nah. He and I'm not giving you the bear spray. Nope. I'm keeping the bear spray to myself. Yeah, so I only got the tray pound, bro. I got the Thule. Dang, bro. What the fuck I'm going to give that shit to? Nobody. Chim? I can't nobody. give it. Chim don't believe no, in that nobody. shit. Nobody. You got to throw it to me. I'm going to be there. I got you, bro. The weight games, you got to keep it to yourself. All right, respectfully. You have any like moments where it was just mad, like funny or mad, like weird or some shit? You want to talk about Locke? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, bro. What about, about TC and J? PJ. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go, PJ, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead, You're soft right now. But I'm going to ride you to your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, remember? Nah, was that? It was at Drew, right? Where he threw the gun. That shit almost hit you. Uh huh. Bro. Weave. Like, what well, he thought this was, we niggas, yo, that nigga used to try to disrespect us. Remember freshman year, he brought us all together. He was, we was like, all right, so it was like freshman year, we was five minutes late to practice and shit. And then he was like, all right, everybody come. It was, we weren't even five minutes late. It was like not, it was like 8.55, practice started at nine. Mm -hmm. So he was like, everybody come in, come in. He said, like, all right, get the fuck out. Uh -huh. Y'all motherfuckers think y'all yeah, could be late? Uh -huh. Y'all fucking cocksuckers kicking the balls kicking everywhere. He was about to peg a, a basketball at jail. Uh, Joe, and, and, like, he tried to weave it. He tried to misdirection in the past. Bro, that shit. That's, that's, Tyrone came for a visit that day, too. I know, and he's seen all of us get kicked the fuck I, out. I don't want to came for that visit. I was like, yeah, I ain't coming here. And it was still, crazy. It was dead not our fault. We were sitting outside in the cold waiting for him to open the door. Yeah. Like, we was freezing. Wait, outside the dome? Yes, it was snowing. We oh, yeah, freezing. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He be, you know, he be wilding, bro. Like, the like, shit in the locker room where the nigga recorded that shit, when he was yelling at uh, Tyrone oh, about Mike Oh, Kofi, Vick. Kofi. That was my roommate, Kofi. Yo, that's... My sweet mate. Bro. So this is like halftime, right? And we come downstairs, and niggas is arguing. Like, Tyrone arguing that Mike Vick talking about some, Yo, like, stop talking to me, bro. Mike Vick be like, yo, come on. You just gotta, you gotta, like, do better. And then Coach Locke came in here and talking about some. You yelling at him? He works <laughs> hard every single day. <laughs> like, yo, bro, relax, bro. Get your meat out of his mouth. Yo, he's like, every day he guards the best player. Every day he comes, brings the edge. Every day he brings the edge. Every fuck. He grabbed the nigga head. No, he he, he face humped him off the locker room. He was slamming the. Yeah, like. The, his face was right here. <laughs> so it was just face to beat the whole time. Nah, he did face fuck that nigga. Mike just sat there and took and it. Just took that Mike, shit. you homo for that. I know you're going to watch this. You homo for that. You just took <laughs> that in the face. You didn't move or nothing. You stood there straight face like with his face. meat. Yo, that was Meet bad the mouth, move, bro. bro. <laughs> meet the mouth? <laughs> meet, the, meet the mouth, Mike. <laughs> nah, that was really nah, wild. I remember that one practice that Tyree, Tyree told Coach SMD. Oh, yeah. He told and then it. he made, we ran like 20, 20, 55 that day. Why did we run for him? We, no, remember we was already running. And then we ran more. After and then that. like then he was like then Mark got mad. He was like, Oh, now Mark Mark, you're mad. More fifty five. Then Tyler got mad. He's like, Oh look, now Tyler's mad. He's like, More fifty five. Then K B gave up. He was like, Hey K hey Kenya. How about you bring your fat ass back to Atlantic City? Get the fuck out the chair. Oh yeah. <laughs> nah, bro. Oh yeah, if y'all don't know what a fifty five is, a fifty five is down and back the full length of a basketball court five times done in a minute and five seconds. 
And doing that shit 20 times will take a toll on your body, bro. But nah, I think our freshman year was the worst year. It was, hands down. I think that was, like, we only won, like, seven games. Did we win seven games? Yes. Like, I'm hoping they we won that. Nah, it was, like, six or seven. It wasn't that bad. Nah, we was ass. Like, we I used was... to be afraid to go to practice nah. because we used to run a lot. We was ass, bro. Son, I used to hate it. Remember, <laughs> remember when we went to um that school in Pennsylvania? And oh, was, he threw the water. He threw the water, water cooler at Julian. Uh-huh. He said, "Julian, get the fuck out the way." He said, "Raw." <laughs> he, he was tired as hell after that. He couldn't lift that shit. <laughs> nigga threw a full on jug of water, like ten feet, and he was like, <sighs> "I'm like, I was looking at Mark, and he put his head down. I was about to laugh, bro. I was about to lose that shit, bro. That shit was so funny." Man, coach think this is the '80s, though, bro. That don't scare nobody no more. Yeah, don't scare nobody no more. We we laugh at that shit, exactly, bro. bro. We'd be like, "Yo, this nigga crazy." <laughs> that shit was fun. Like, I don't know why you're so mad. I mean, we was down by like what twenty and a half. Nah, we was getting spanked, bro. By like, some white kid. One one hand, bro. He didn't he didn't dribble with his left hand. Who? Oh, I know you're talking about that nigga. He killed us with one hand. I think he had like twenty five on us. That he one did, kid with one hand, bro. He didn't put the ball in a different hand. He'll put it back and come right back. I wonder who good was guarding him. I think it was Mark. <laughs> I think it was Mark. <laughs> remember, I remember that we got blown out by 30. By 30, bro. In front of all the recruits. Mm-hmm. In front of all them fans. Coach didn't know what to say. He didn't know. He had no words. No I got words. in that game, too. I was like, what the fuck is going yeah, on? I get in that game. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he came down and said, he's like, yo. How many times do you think he said like this is one of the most embarrassing? He games? says that every, he said that all our freshman year, bro. I'm he not did. Gonna lie. I think <laughs> he said that to the Willie P game. He said that when Montclair. we lost Montclair. Wait, why Montclair? You got thirty pieces. Oh yeah, too, yeah, yeah. We home. did. We, he said that to when we lost to Camden. Uh huh. Then when we lost to FDU, and their big man was like six three. He was like, this has to be one of the most mm-hmm. embarrassing losses I've ever that's had. That's my then we lose to Centenary too, or no? Nah, we didn't lose to Centenary. We oh. lost. It was FDU, oh, but we should have won that game because they big man was like six three. But I don't know what the fuck was going on that day. That's the nigga hit that game winner from half court. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that shit right hurt. Right in Q's mouth. Mwah. I oh. hate that. Yo, Q, you hear this shit, bro? You need to play some defense. Play some D, bro. That was... Right in your grill. Mwah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was... Remember the fight we had with Ramapo? Yeah, because the coach, coach, coach wanted to disrespect the, uh, the head coach. What happened? Do you remember? I forgot, like, the whole... Coach, coach called him something, and I guess... I called him a name. He was like... You're you're no better than whoever. He, whoever oh yeah, you know better than the other guy. Whoever you whoever he said that would just started a trigger. Do you remember the big dude on Ramapo our freshman year? Just had it was just the big man. Zagadu? No, not Zagadu. It was a big white dude. The dude that knocked Dante's tooth out. He's the strong guy, Laka. Yeah. Whatever. No, his name not was. Matt Laka. It was a big white dude our freshman year, bro. The dude that knocked Dante tooth out off an elbow swing. I forgot what I don't know his name. Well, though. during that fight, right? So I'm like, oh, yeah, we lit. I'm shoving people. Ah, ah. I'm shoving one dude. He just won't move. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I turn around, I look up. He just looked at me like, dude, don't make me hurt you. <laughs> I looked at him, walked away. I like, got it, bro. <laughs> I don't want no smoke. Bro, bro. Yo, that happened? No, I was like, I was just pushing people. Ah, oh, shove match. Got it, bro. <laughs> I don't want no smoke. All I remember was Kurt. Like shoved some at the way. I watched Kurt lift somebody up like this. No lie, bro. I'm like, yo, <laughs> what is Kurt doing? Kurt, like, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember E. That nigga E smacked the shit out of Jordan Zagadu. Yo, I don't think Zagadu knows that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yo, that nigga was like six seven. Eric like five, five seven. I'm about to say maybe five five. Five <laughs> five seven. Res- respectfully, we give him five seven. Five six with no shoes. Five six with no shoes. No like time. he was like this. He was like, and he said. He and then ran. He got him though. He, got he him. did get him, but he ran away. Yo, I was just looking. I was like, "What the fuck is?" And then I, I see Q downstairs. I'm like, "Q, what the fuck are you doing?" Oh, down remember here? Q didn't shake hands. Yeah, nigga just left. He just left. I forgot why he left. He was just mad that he lost. That nigga was mad about everything freshman year. <laughs> Little chubby. The nigga was built like Jabari Parker. He really was. He still is. He is. He still is. He was in his prime. Like he really, he really built like Jabari Parker now. That's what he like. He played <laughs> like Jabari Parker. Respectfully. He used to, I mean. Jari Parker ass now, bro. It's whatever at this point, bro. He, he I mean, does he even he play? Like, I don't even know if he's on the team. He might be on the Kings. I just assume I think, no, he thinks he's on the Celtics. I, I just assume everybody that's ass is on the Kings. Why? De'Aaron Fox is on the Kings. He needs to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he signed the extension, so it's deed for him. Should have came to the Knicks. I would have wanted him on the Knicks. I'd trade for him. Who do you think? 
who's one player that you think fit would fit on the Knicks if we could trade for? So, oh, like realistically trade? Yeah, for? realistically, not not OD yeah. Max and that shit, like two K and shit. I'm saying like a real, I mean, we could realistically trade for or like, yeah. like all right. That's not realistic because we don't know all this shit. Like, how about just like what fits? Yo, I think we could get a Luca. Luca could fit in any any system. He don't yeah. play no defense, but his offense is that crazy. We just need somebody to score the ball. We got defense. We good on defense. Luca would fit. Kawhi would fit, but Kawhi don't play enough games for me. Yeah, Cat. I think Cat would fit. I think you think Dame could fit. I think Dame, but then like. You know, what you can, think that would bring us over the hump? I don't think so. Damon, Julius Randle as a duo, and then R.J. Barrett. I don't think like, like you know, yeah, like why are we playing Dame with Julius Randle? Like, is this gonna be the same thing in Portland? You know. How about Bradley Beal? He's different, but like again, he's another like you know how much better are we gonna get? You know. I guess I know what you mean. Well, like fourth seed, get knocked out in the second round. We knocked out in the conference finals. Yeah. So you think Luca could really make a difference? Luka is that guy, man? I thought Kawhi was gonna come to the Knicks. I'm not gonna hold you. He was talking about it before. I uh, forgot what happened. Fucking pussy out. Nigga don't want to be in the bright lights no more. No, uh, he's done. He not ready for the he's East done. Coast. He's... You seen the music video? That's... The little oh I'm, yeah yeah yeah. Sexy foot. Yeah. That shit was cringy, yeah, bro. He didn't even twinkle down. He just. <laughs> he got show the claws. But Kawhi is like the one player. that's like he's top five, but like he's like I don't know why he top five. Like his game just like you know, old man. Like, it's just it's, he's effective, very effective. Like in his his game, when he does play, it, it equates to winning. They say he played like Jordan. He low key just they, you know why they say that because he's the only dude that really shoots mid range. Yeah, I know. Like, like the way he moved low key, like because Jordan wasn't like no shifty nigga. He just get to the spot. I mean, Jordan was shifty. Bro. I mean, he wasn't like Kyrie shifty. I mean, nobody's Kyrie shifty. I AI, mean, like, you know I mean? like but like he was Jordan was little. For me. Jordan had that. He had a couple moves. I mean, that step back. Come here, Come on. Kawhi don't got that in him. I mean, he could. Kawhi don't got that in his game. Jordan Jordan was shifty in the post. He had a good oh, post very, in the game. Very. But, I mean, Kawhi is just old. I don't know. I was going to say overrated, but he's not overrated. Nah, he's not overrated. He's properly rated. He's not overrated at all. You seen when... Nah, I'm not going to lie. Nah, I'm lying because Luka, Luka lit him up. It was like, Kawhi's like, yeah, I'm guarding Luka this game. And then he gave him 40, buckets. 41. <laughs> 41. <laughs> Wait, what was this? In the playoffs? In the bubble? Yeah, game two. In the bubble or nah, this, year? this year? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kawhi's like, yeah, I'm guarding Luka this game. Come here, get this 41-piece nugget. That's crazy. I think it was game two. I don't want nobody like, oh, that was a game two. That was game three. I don't want nobody saying that. I know what you mean. I know I what you mean. I think it was game two, though. But we'll see. I I don't know why Luka's still on the Mavericks. He going to be there for a minute. I mean, they need players around him. Poor Zing is not going to help him out. Not that guy, pal. He's not that, not that guy. guy. <laughs> He's going to go. I mean, no. they said he's going. No, they said he was going to the Lakers. Everybody going to the fucking Lakers. They said he was going to like. No, there's no more space on the Lakers. There's no more. No more. Space. Niggas just hopping on there just cause. Just cause. It's like, like DeAndre yeah. Jordan, Rondo. Like, why the fuck you going Rondo there? Rondo went back. Yeah, DeAndre he went Jordan, back. He Jordan, DeAndre Jordan just mad. They cut his ass. And they sent him to the Pistons. Yeah, he's like, all right, watch. Now I'm going to the rivals. That's funny as hell. Oh my god! But this is another segment I like to do on the show. That's called "What If." Let me hear it. So, I like this. So what we're doing is I'm going to name you a couple of NBA players that throughout their career were hurt. I'm going to name you like their accolades and stats in their best season. I want you okay. to tell me like if they never got injured, like what added accolades would they have? Okay. You All right. The first person we're going to talk about is uh, Yao Ming. Yao Ming. So uh, his best year was in 2006. He averaged 25, 9, and 2. And he had... Eight NBA All Stars, two All NBAs, second teams, three All NBA third teams, and an NBA rookie, All Rookie team. So it's like Yao Ming, a healthy Yao Ming. Yeah, healthy. Yao. He only played nine seasons. That's what I'm saying a healthy Yao Ming is crazy, bro. He's Ex- too tall. Too tall. So if you put a, a healthy Yao Ming with like a Luca, let's say a Luca, or a, he had T Mac. Yeah, but he had like rock, like he had a, you know. I mean, T Mac, he wasn't. T Mac was going Orlando T Mac. He was going downhill out there. He was going it, like. Orlando T Mac was if the peak. He was on, if he was a plane, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on the decline. But like when he like it was it was like all it was de- it wasn't Chiron, but it was you know it was turbulence was coming. Yeah, so you yeah, think I mean, like what do you think Yao would have been? I feel like, I mean, the next person we gotta talk about is T Mac. But like when that comes, I feel like Yao would have had maybe because he's been an All Star. I think every year. Did he make his his rookie year. 
I think saying. he was the first one. He probably he'd be in the he'd be, he'd be top three debates, like top three centers. Oh yeah. So who's top three? Like See, Kareem. I say Kareem. Shaq. Shaq. Hakeem. Hakeem. You think he'll be better than Hakeem? Mm. Might be. Mm. Might be. Mm. If he never got hurt, just imagine seven six or with four. a four. He's number four, undoubtedly four. Who's four right now? I don't know. Wilt. I'm not. I'm not respecting Wilt's game. Why? He played. He played against me. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of yous and he was seven foot. Not even. I was. I would have fried him. <laughs> <laughs> he played against a bunch of coach locks. <laughs> All athletic white dudes. Yo. That, that dribble like this, kind kinda shoot. And he was just dunking on them. So what do you think? Like his best season, he averaged twenty five and nine, and like. I think average he averaged like nineteen points his so career. I'm saying, and that's, he never had a prime. So. His prime was basically his first year. That's what I'm saying. So imagine if a healthy Yao Ming be top top four un, like You think he'll win a chip? I think so. Like how many? Probably one or two. Okay. Maybe one. That's respectable. I think so too. I think he'll win one. Like imagine seven six you're not going around that. Like nothing you can do about that. It's like literally nothing. Bro, like even Shaq had a problem with him. And yeah, Shaq exactly. was Shaq said, arguably one of the best centers we ever seen. The best. The best. Other than if maybe Kareem, maybe Kareem better. Than him. Kareem more skilled than Shaq. Shaq was just yeah. brute Shaq was strength. Just dominant. Yeah. But I guess. But I think. I think. I think that's a good. That's a good argument. Like if Yao was healthy, he'll be top three centers of all time. Because right now, I don't even think he. he nah, he's not in the top ten. I don't, I don't think he'd be top twenty for real. Nah, he probably top. Nah, he got top ten if he in the Hall of Fame. I mean. The center's list. Not be centers in the Hall of Fame, no. Yeah, I mean, he's not better than Patrick Ewing. No. He's not better than... Andrew Robinson, no. No. He's not better than Moses Malone, is that his? Nope. nope. He's not better than... Ooh. Wow. I'm trying to think of people, too. I'm trying to think. Um. Yo, we play basketball. We should be ashamed of us. I know, this is a damn shame. Uh, Dwight? Dwight Howard? He better, he better than Dwight. Okay, he's better than Dwight. I'll say, I'll say yeah, respectfully, like eight. Nah, I don't think so. You, you think we're missing somebody? I think we're missing mad people. Like, I feel like after this episode, we're going to look up the centers list and be like, oh, shoot, we missed this many names. Yeah. Respectfully, you got to you gotta throw Bill in there. You gotta throw Bill Bill Russell, there. yeah. Even though I, I don't want to, but you got to. What, Bill Russell? Yeah. All right, the next nigga is T Mac. See, I feel like T Mac would have been in like the KD conversation. He already is. Like they when they compare games, but I'm kind of like when you compare accolades. Like, Want me to tell you his accolades? No, I mean, you can rip, rip him off, yeah. Like so, his best year was like 2002 when he was with Orlando. He averaged 32, six and five. That's Loki OD. That's max on the Magic. And then yes, he was All Star seven times. Two times All NBA first team, three times All NBA second team, two times All NBA third team, two times scoring champion, most improved in two thousand one. So low key, he had a pretty good career, nah, but he could have been way better. That's what I'm saying. If he never got hurt, he'll be in the KD conversation. I think, you know, a healthy a healthy team act like a, a healthy, let's say a healthy sixteen year, fifteen year, thirteen year team act. Yeah, have an MVP. Might have a championship. Low key. Might have a championship. Who knows? I'm not gonna guarantee a championship. Might you think he'll be top ten, like score on the scoring list? Probably. Like he was a six nine shooting guard. Six nine. Back sh- when shooting guards was not like six four. That's what I'm saying. He was KD before KD. That's what I'm saying. Like niggas forgot. KG. Like T Mac was KG, crazy. That's a KG, KG, KD, KD. Like T Mac was crazy, bro. I use him on 2K all the time. I do the fantasy drafts, picking T Mac. You and freaking UJ be blowing my shit. I need him. Like, yo, yeah, this nigga in 2K is the most cheesiest nigga in the world, bro. Like, he had Zach Levine and had, like, 60 on my head. I don't know how. Straight I dunks. Love Zach Levine. That's my guy. That's crazy. I, that shit blew my this shit. This game kind of reminded me of T-Mac a little bit. Who, Zach Levine? A little bit. Not OD. It's a little bit. I know what you mean. Just because you really jump high. You know, shoot, shoot. Dribble. Dunk. Like, T-Mac really was able to do everything, everything. at 6'9". He was tough. But he was just hurt. Yeah, I mean that's when we had like a tendonitis stuff. I think he, I think he tore something in his knee, or he fuck he had bad knees. Something crazy. That's crazy. Like injuries. Something, it's something that like like if a player had it today though, it would be good. Like it would even affect them. Like it'd be like oh you sit out for like two weeks. Word. Or three weeks. Almost. Like my nigga, like these shits, bro. That shit don't niggas don't care no more about these injuries, bro. That's what I'm saying. As long as it's not an ACL. Oh, yeah, as long as not ACL, they're they good. Achilles, you know, stuff, quad. I mean, ACL, you could come back from that easy. I mean, now, yeah, depending on how you work. Yeah, but injury could really change a whole 
oh, timeline oh, of a uh-huh. person. Like, damn. Mentally, physically, like, you can never be the same. Facts. Look at Boogie. Where's Boogie at? Is he on the list? Like, I don't want to. Oh, no, no. Nah, Boogie. Really. Nah. I only got a couple of guys. This is like, not recently. I didn't even think of Boogie. That's a good one. What do you think about him? Man, Boogie would have been so nice, bro. I feel bad, bro. Boogie used to be a top three center, bro. He, yo, he did everything. And, mm-hmm. like, he wasn't even quick. He was a guard, bro. Guard 6'11". That's, that's why I understand. I don't understand how his, how his game don't equate back. Because he was never quick, never jumped high, never blocked a shot. He just got shifty. He was, sl- he was always slow. He was, like, fast enough to get around the center. That's what I'm saying. But he was, like, I, guess, I feel like he still had that speed. Like, he wasn't that fast. Like, I know. He didn't lose that much. You know what but, I'm saying? I mean, he was, like, you think he, I think... I seen something. He was like the best, like uh, opinion based thing on TikTok, and they said he was like the best center in 2015, 16, which is respectable. I ain't gonna lie. I'll give he it was. to him. He was. He was the best center for a good five, four, four year stretch. Like him and AD as a duo. That would have been crazy. Healthy. With, him with Rondo, that would have been crazy. They beat um, what's it called? They beat Dame. uh Dame and them. They did. I don't think I don't think Dame, uh not Dame, Boogie wasn't there. Nah, I think he got hurt. Yeah. But that's tough. Like, that's really, that shit really hurts, nigga. But another, my my favorite player, bro, is that man on the wall, Penny Hardaway, bro. Oh, he would have been, oh, uh, that's such, that's that's another T-Mac sad one, like, damn. That's, like, I don't know, I don't got his stats with me right now, but I think it was close to, like, oh, that's 25. what you just thought of? Yeah, it's like, I forgot, I knew I was thinking, like, I was doing this while we was working, but I knew mm-hmm. I was thinking of somebody, I, I thought of Grant Hill first, but nah, it was Penny, bro. Nah, both of them have been. Same story for real. Like Grand Hill averaged like twenty five, but it went know. downhill. I don't know if either one of them was a championship, like the same boat, but they would have definitely been like, damn, top point guard, top small. Penny forward. would have been top five point guards all the time. He was supposed to be forward. the next Magic, bro. No, he was different. He was a six seven point guard. Six seven, and he had more swag than Magic. I don't care what nobody told me that Magic had that ugly swag, that that stiff swag. Nah, Penny had Penny that. Had that Mm. Bro, Penny Hardaway highlights is tough. That's what I'm saying. Him and Shaq, bro. He was Kobe and Shaq before Kobe and Shaq. Facts. Like he was really out here make like dunking on niggas. He had a jump shot. He had, he had handles, bro. Like I'm saying, he had the. I'm saying he had swag. That's how. Hey, but that's how he began all these recruits at Memphis right now. You see, he got the two best recruits mm-hmm. coming in. They got the number one recruiting class. They probably like you. Oh, Penny Hardaway is nice. Probably play with my two K and shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm gonna play with Penny. But nah, I think I think Penny would have won a chip with Shaq if he wasn't. My, I think so. Like I, I think that. I think Shaq would have stayed. I forgot the reason why Shaq left. There was a reason. It was a, I, I I just watched a video the other day. I really don't remember, but it was a reason why he left. So I think something about money. Yeah, something about money. Like he didn't want to leave, but yeah. I think he felt disrespected or something. Yeah, some shit like that. But bro, imagine they would have won. Like they went to the finals one year, right? Yep. I think they lost to the King. Got spanked by the King. Oh yeah, they lost to the Rockets. Mm-hmm. That was the year Jordan. Wasn't in, right. yeah, and it came back. All right, so the last guy we're gonna do about is your favorite player, bro. Oh, that's my guy, D Rose, bro. His best year was his MVP year. He had 25, 7, and 4, one MVP, three time NBA All Star, one time All NBA First Team, NBA Rookie of the Year, and NBA All Rookie First Team. Third. That's crazy to think an MVP that's all he had, bro. He only played three years of primeness, bro. That's all in three years. I know, put it as this. Derrick Rose don't get hurt. He'll be a top three point guard right now. Oh, in the league? A league, I'm probably all time. Top five. I mean, I'm stretching it. Top five all time. I mean, three hurt. would be Magic. Who else is a point guard? Steph D Rose. Steph D Rose. <laughs> I think he. I could see him being top five. He'll have a championship. He'd have beat LeBron one of those. Years. Like that's just so sad. Think about it. Hold on, call break. <laughs> <laughs> Might go crazy. He's my guy. So. Yo, Derrick Rose made it to a conference finals, and and what took him what to what either five or six games at twenty one. I know. So you think if he would have kept getting better, he wouldn't have been really good. And 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 don't forget he had a, a Joe Kim Noah that was nice. Luol Deng was like Kawhi. Yeah, Kawhi before Kawhi. We had a ball called we had the, we had the body called us Boozer. I mean, he didn't really have a body, but he was coloring his hair. That nigga had, like, lines on his head. He had wrinkles on his head. Yeah, Rip. Like It was nice, though. You know what I'm saying? That Rip team, was... Oh, I forgot he was on... But he team, was, like, old, though. That team would have beat Miami one of those years. You think You yeah. think so? I help, with that healthy Derrick Rose? Yeah. Yes. I think Number so. Number one season in the East at 21 years old. Mm. We was just 21 last year. That's 22. That's what we were doing. facts. At our age. 
One nothing. Day. We nothing. ain't doing a damn thing. <laughs> talking to each other right now. Bro. On a podcast, podcast trying right. to be like them. Exactly. But, nah, that, I heard LeBron was deciding whether to go to Chicago, play with D-Rose, New York to play with Amari, or mm-hmm. to South Beach with uh, D-Wade. The D-Wade, they wanted to go to Miami. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. D-Rose was like, nah. I mean, he didn't say nah, but he was like, I mean, I'm not heading them up. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't like recruiting. He's like, I don't care if they come. He's like, I want to beat them. That's just how he is, bro. But that's crazy. Like he, I think his is the saddest. His is because it's like the, so much potential. It like, too, like at least you got like we got prime years. Like not prime, but we got good years of T Mac. Yeah, we got good years of Yao. We got we good, good years, years of. of uh, right away. We only had three we years. Had three of, years of D Rose. Um, I mean, he's on the little. He's like, he's like plateaued. He's like three, average. You got good three years of Derrick Rose. Like, I know. Like. Like damn, he's the greatest. You think he's gonna make it to the Hall of Fame? Yeah, he's, he won MVP, bro. Yeah, he got he won, he won MVP in a rookie of the year. He has to make it to the Hall of Fame. If he don't, that be he'd probably be like the only one that never made it to the Hall of Fame. And he push he's doing now, he make it to the Hall of Fame. Bro. Yeah, but yeah, but, I, but that's just why y'all mean make it to the Hall of Fame. That's true. And Derrick Rose don't. They have the same accolades, but Derrick Rose is MVP. That's true. And yeah, I was just freaking. I think they put Yao in the Hall of Fame because of because he was Chinese, <laughs> the best Chinese player ever. As for it's a because he's low key like him, he probably like started the basketball trend in he Asia. Yeah. Like he's like the pot, like he's there. Michael he started Jordan. Inter- internationally. He started yeah, yeah, he was national basketball. I he mean, was the not first national, like, but like, like for NBA wise. Yeah, he started the the you know the trend like him and Dirk. They yeah. started that. You think Dirk is the best like international player ever? Yes. Hands yeah, down. hands down. I think yo Dirk is so underrated as a. As a what you call it, as a power, like as a on the all time list. I know. Like yo, like Dirk was max, bro. Bro, Dirk isn't he like top ten in scoring? I think so. That's crazy. Or well, like eleven, max. he's like up there. He's he was max, like. Niggas forget, was, bro. How when people talk about the greatest, they don't talk about Dirk. He's underrated, bro. And he won the championship at like fifty. <laughs> he did. He beat LeBron, bro. That's what I'm saying. He was max, yo. He, he beat the living monsters. From Space he Jam, was Max, he was, he was really crazy. He really was, bro. He really was. But he like I really be forgetting he's on the all time like scoring list. I mean, he got buckets, bro. He was really like low key tough, like very low key. Like niggas really just forget about how good uh, Dirk Nowitzki was. But talking about the no uh the all time scoring list, you know, like would you consider LeBron James as one of the best one of the best scores we ever seen? See. Because, you know, the one of the best scores we've ever seen was, like, Michael... You could say Michael Jordan, KD, Kobe, T-Mac. But do you think LeBron's, like, up there? He's not He's not one of the best scorers, no. But... I know the numbers don't say it. He's then, not one of the... It's, he, that's crazy, he, he get though. a bucket, like, he didn't... He, don't, he can't get a better... He can't get a bucket better than KD. I mean, he, he back in the day, a, he used to. Can't get a bucket better than KD. No. KD's crazy. He can't get a bucket better than MJ. No. Can't get a bucket better than Kobe. No. Can't get a bucket better than James Harden. Can't get a bucket better than Kyrie. But that's really crazy how, you know, he has to average 18.4 points over the next two years to pass Kareem. That's tough. He and don't do that. That's really max. You don't, he's going to do that. that. That he is. Like, he's very, like, it's crazy how he could be number one in scoring, and that's not his main thing that everybody know. knows. He's just the best all around. It's longevity, bro. Yeah. Like, what season? He's about to be 40. <laughs> he's about to be, like, 38. I, mean, I think I know thirty seven. I think, but like I think it's because his prime was longer than ever, anybody he, else's ever, bro. Came in at seventeen. Was it seventeen or eighteen? Fresh out of high school, seventeen. Oh yeah, fresh, fresh out, of out of high school, hopped in a prime, bro. That's what I'm saying. And average still, twenty, he's still playing. Like when Kobe hopped out of high school, he freaking nigga averaged like eight points a game. That's he barely played. Like he, like he came straight out of high school with the prime time basketball and has been healthy ever since. That's crazy, like, bro. What? So your numbers is gonna be crazy. That's what like, you be, what you be doing, bro? You know, be, yo, he paid. He, I think don't he spend like a million, million dollars on his body every summer or every year? I think so. That's that's. Nigga used to say he did steroids. I don't think he did all yeah, that. I never did steroids. Nah, that's max. He just do the the the, 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 the the what's it called the cryo freeze. Oh, the little so, bio freeze shits. He goes to he goes to a tank all summer. Like he's like a like a mutant. Yeah, he doesn't leave his tank all summer <laughs> until he has to go to an event. <laughs> That's he's funny. That's a clone. He's just a clone, but he's yeah. just in there like regenerating, like he's fucking Goku or some yeah, shit. Recharging, up, hook up to wires and stuff, and floating. Like like Wolverine and shit. Exactly. That's but that's really crazy how he's gonna be like he could be number one scorer all time, and we don't even consider him as a scorer. I mean, 
The dude is great. I know he's great. Like he's respectfully number I like two. Him. I don't like him, but he's great. I I, I respect. I I do like him. I, I can't say I respect him because Jay's gonna I'm, bash me. Cause she thinks I I, I be I be beef chewing him. Oh uh, nah. So I'm glad I didn't. T- I never took LeBron's game for granted because it's gonna end soon. And when it ends, it's gonna be sad. Very sad. I never took his game for granted. He's our Michael Jordan. I just no. Oh no, Kobe's our Michael Jordan. Derrick Rose is my Michael Jordan. <laughs> don't get it. Don't get it messed up. Well fault. Well fault. But I. I hated on him his whole career, but I appreciated his game. Like I like watching, I liked watching LeBron, even though how much I hated on him. So, Why'd you hate on him? He ain't come to the Knicks, bro. That okay, that's a that's a good reason. He ain't come to the Knicks 2011. <laughs> I hated him ever since. Like it's just like you can't do nothing but respect. Like Tom Brady. Tom Brady's a goat, bro. Like, I never hated Brady though. Like, I never did either. How can you hate Brady? Like seven rings, but you know two of them lost. He could have had nine. Guess what? Shout you heard, out. You heard what Peyton Manning said. What? He was like, Tom Brady would have 11 rings if it wasn't for his mama. <laughs> exactly. Wait, why 11? Uh, what you call it? Beat him twice. Uh, Eli. And then... He lost to... I said 10, not 11. He said 10. And oh. Peyton Manning beat him once. Peyton Manning didn't beat him. That was um, yes, that was the Eagles. Nah, Peyton Manning beat him before. No, he didn't. Peyton Manning beat... Um... No, it wasn't Peyton Manning. I'm pretty sure Peyton Manning beat him. No, nah, I think Peyton Manning, Peyton Manning won. He won. He has two rings, I think. One with the Colts and one with the Broncos. You sure Peyton Manning ever beat him? Mm-mm. Yeah, that's great. He lost two, three Super Bowls. He, wa- he, he, lost to, he only lost three. Two to the Giants and one to the Eagles. Damn, I sound dumb as hell now. The, quote, the quote sounded good, though. He might because have, he might he's talking about him. Eli. Yeah, he might have gassed. He might have said nine. I just yeah. gassed the ten. But, like, think about it. Imagine 10 rings. He built Russell. I mean, he could get eight. I mean, what, seven out of 10 is not bad. It's not. At all. He could, like, that's, you think he better, like, in the GOAT stash, you think he better than Jordan? Yeah. I think he is, too. Like, respectfully. He's 42. Yo, how, yeah, it's not easy to get seven rings in football. Bro. It's not easy. Because, like, in basketball, you get, like, seven game series. That's like, so I'm you saying. get chances. Yeah, football is one, one game. Chance, one shine. That's, that's much madness, though, but still. One shine. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like one, like one bad game. It's like it's over. That's what I'm saying, like, like MJ can have a bad game in the playoffs and, and come back come the next back day. And have forty. Yeah, nah, you can't come back in football. That's that's true. It really is harder to win a championship in football than basketball. That's what I'm saying, and niggas will say that's harder to win. I mean, there's an argument for both because, like you say, there you can. There's more games to play, but it's like you have more chances to win. Like just in that's case you I'm lose. Saying. So I guess I guess that makes sense. I guess, but I don't know. It's, it's hard to get football championships and basketball championships. It is. But I think you think Brady's like the the best goat in like all the sports? Yes. Nah. Mom and Ali probably the, the biggest goat of boxing. Biggest goat of boxing. Than, you think he's bigger than Tom Brady? In football, yeah. Okay, I guess that's respect. I'm trying to think. There's somebody. Just, like a random cool. tennis player. <laughs> like it has so many Wimbledon, Wimbledon wins. Williams, or probably, but that's Serena Williams. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess women's so, sports for women's sports. She's the goal of women's sports, you could say. How many? I don't even know how many wins she got. Like the, that Wimbledon or Australian Open, whatever that shit called. A lot. I guess. Or Tiger. I mean, I don't think Tiger was that much of a goat. Nah. Oh yeah. He, he, right. he, right. he, he like he's a goat, but he he not. Play, play golf, bro. <laughs> Old men play golf. All right, now let's shift the subject. From Are we shifting subjects. Let me pee. You dead ass. I gotta pee, bro. You're not serious. I got to pee, bro. Yo. <laughs> Niggas just come back to... Sorry, we had technical difficulties. Corey had to use the bathroom. And we wanted a snack, so we got some watermelon. So this is about to be a ASMR X podcast. For like for like eight seconds. All right, just peep the watermelon. Peep the watermelon. Watch the juice fall off. Hold on. Watch the juice fall off this one right here. Watch that shit fall in my hands. Come on, fall. <laughs> He sounds crazy in my ear. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how you sound him. I don't know how I sound in your ear, but you sound crazy in mine. Keep going. Now. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> this is a crunchy one. <laughs> yo, you sound wild, bro. It's crazy because niggas on YouTube make millions of dollars just to eat. I know. 
telling you what. I just want twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before so, like I said before, we about to switch the subject because you know on this show, no regulars. We like talking about irregular shit, like yes, sir. conspiracy theories of the world. Because you know I'm a conspiracy theorist. I I believe in a lot of weird shit. Do you have any like theories that you want to talk about? Because I know you, you do. You already know what I'm about to say, bro. He's <laughs> asking me for a reason. So, <laughs> Pigeons aren't real, bro. Explain your pigeon theory. Everybody bro, listen to this shit. Pigeons are not real. So first, have you ever seen a baby pigeon, bro? I be thinking those little birds are pigeons, <clears throat> but I don't think they're, they're pigeons. It's called sp- sparrows or something like that. Oh, so you... <laughs> you never even seen a little pigeon. All pigeons you see are the same size. That's you actually ne- fact. you never seen a little pigeon. you never seen a baby pigeon. you never see a layer nest. They just be there and they just be watching you. That's I, I never seen a pigeon nest. That's what I'm saying. You never seen a you never seen a pigeon a different size. You, like you seen a pigeon they're either fatter or like skinny, but you never seen them taller or shorter. Like like you know how because like you know how some animals they be like deformed and shit uh-huh. like on like birth defects. You never seen a deformed pigeon. That's true. You've never seen a pigeon with one eye. <laughs> You've never seen a pigeon. With one I mean, eye. you never know. You might see that shit in New York or some You've shit. You've never seen a pigeon with a missing leg. Mm, so what do you think pigeons are though? They're surveillance cameras, bro. That's so they're just are. continuously watching Yo, us. listen, I'm sitting on my 18th floor apartment <laughs> in Brooklyn, right? Oh yeah, you told me this story. And a pigeon just flying around, and it flies in the direct middle. So my curtains is covering the whole window. It's only a little slit, like this big, covering the, the where you can see inside my my house. The pigeon lands exactly in the middle of that. But you can't tell me that's not the government watching me, yo. <laughs> why you? Why they want to watch? Well, you? Well, nah, now they probably heard me talking about how the pigeon was flying and how it wasn't real. Like, oh, let's mess mess with this kid. <laughs> this thing he know everything. <laughs> dick right in the middle. And like I said, this bus I, at the bus stop, bro. The, like the bus stop in Hackensack when I come to Newark, the same pigeon's been at, at this bus stop since I've been a freshman, bro. This <laughs> pigeon does not move and it's alive. I need to see this, bro. Like I have it on video, bro. This pigeon does not move. Send me that video. I need to see I that shit. I got you, bro. The pigeon <laughs> don't move, bro. The pigeon be in the same exact spot. And it hasn't moved for hasn't three years. Moved. Damn. <laughs> it doesn't move. It's just that watching, niggas. No, nah, just watching, bro. I think it's charging. <laughs> That's his charging station? Mm-hmm. So you think like there's people just flying these little shits like drones? Nah, they just, they give them their own mind their own. And they, they, might, just, they might got a chip in them or something. Just to make sure they don't like know where mm-hmm. they're at? You never seen a pigeon bleed, bro. A pigeon get run over, bro. You don't see blood. Ooh. You know that? Uh, I don't think I ever seen if that. If you really wanted to grab a pigeon, you can, bro. That's true. I see niggas grab pigeons, like they just don't run away. That's what I'm saying. They tap away, and then they fly. Like when you get right here, they fly away. Yeah, but like for real, like like ever since you told me, I'd be looking at pigeons. And I walk up to them, they just look at me, and like they don't even move sometimes. But they're not real, bro. You think the government just watching us? Why are there pigeons everywhere in the United States? Like, there's like, like, where do pigeons come from? There's no pigeons in the wild. That's what I'm saying, bro. Where do pigeons come from, bro? Like, you don't, you don't go to the jungle and see pigeons. That's true. You don't see them in the forest. Like, their natural habitat is the city. It's the city to watch people, bro. That's a good. uh, That's a. You got some good information on that shit. Pigeons aren't real. Never fall for it, bro. If you see a pigeon, kill it. (laughs) Oh, even today, you know the bugs. You say you didn't know. The bugs that you're supposed to kill because they yeah, destroy the trees or whatever. I seen a pigeon killing one today. We need to find out what that bug is called. I think it's called like a dang. Deirdre told me the name of it. I forgot. It's not name. cicadas, right? No, nah, it's not a cicada. It's like a. I don't even know. It's like a weird ass name. It's like a, no. It's like a a common first like a super bug, but it's not super bug. It's like the the first name is common like oh, oh killer oh. killer bug or something. Oh like, like that. oh oh okay okay okay. Dang but that. I seen a pigeon killing the bug. Since when you ever seen a pigeon kill something? You never seen a pigeon eat, bro. I mean, you see him eat like the little garbage on the ground and shit. Nah, that's fake, bro. That's they just be poking. They don't be eating. Nothing, <laughs> the government just be wanting us to think they eat. They not be. They not so they just watching us and shit. Just watching us, and they killed the bird. They killed the bug. Well, since when the kill, pigeons kill bugs, bro? That's true. I mean, I guess I don't think they eat bugs. Just killed the bug and flew away. That's didn't even eat the shit. They didn't even eat it. Just flew away. Hmm. That's what I'm telling you, the government watching, like, yo, hold on, it's a bug right here, kill them. <laughs> I mean, I do think the government be telling us shit that we, like, they be telling us false information so we never know what they're really doing. Bro, 
I bet you Osama Bin Laden is alive and he's a LeBron James fan. <laughs> He cheers. He's a Lakers fan right now. <laughs> Niggas watching the Lakers right now. <laughs> My son was cheering for LeBron last week, bro. <laughs> LeBron Yo. and I have been playing. Yo, nah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that I don't think. Like I feel like, I feel like there could be people that that we say they are dead, but they're still alive. Cause like Michael niggas Jackson's not dead. I've I've heard about that. He's sitting in the crib. So. Adolf Hitler might have been still alive. He might be dead I heard, now. I heard he was. I heard that was like a like. He got away though. Not yeah, that, he that, didn't. You no, know, nobody killed him. Up. Yeah. So like niggas could be Hitler's babies, for all we know. That's crazy. Imagine you went to school with Hitler's like great great grandson. I mean, they, there's probably kids like that, but they like their parents probably won't tell them. I just smack them for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's for it's for Holocaust. Oh <laughs> shit! For Jews. But, what but do I do? But. <laughs> But nah, to go back on that conspiracy theory shit, since today's, well, when this podcast goes out, it's probably going to be like two weeks from now, maybe. But today's 9-12, and yesterday was 9-11, things like that. So 9-11 affected a lot of us, especially us on the East Coast. My, my mom was in 9-11. She really? Was one of the towers. She was? Yeah, she got out, though. Like what, she was in the bottom? Yeah, like, I don't know, like middle, maybe. Oh. She got out, though. She, she was like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm not staying here. She was like, yo, no, don't leave. She was like... I'm out. If you thought you a helicopter, a, a plane is in this building. You think I'm staying in here? I'm out. Nah, that's oh, OD. Shit, like my my mom just told me a story this morning about my grandmother. Like I guess she worked in the World Trade Center, or she used to just go there because like I guess the train goes there. Mm-hmm. And like she was putting lipstick on, and I was like one, and like I was like holding her up from work. Uh-huh. So I I'll be like taking her lipstick and shit, and mm-hmm. like she'd be like, "Give me the lipstick. I I gotta go to work." And like she was late that day, and that's when the that's the plane came in. I was she like, "She was a little asshole." She yeah, I had to. Nice. God told me I gotta yeah. save my grandma. I was like, so oh. I'm not. I think I might be quoting this wrong. I think my dad was supposed to be on the flight that landed in the Hudson River. There was a flight that landed in the Hudson. How many planes <laughs> was crashed? Oh shit! Oh, fuck corporate. <laughs> Yo, this- <laughs> Go on. that watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Oh. <laughs> Nigga, nah, the, the the plane that landed in Hudson, the the they made the movie Sully. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think my dad was supposed to be on that flight. Are you I serious? Think, I, I like don't like I'm. I, Is it I, that plane that because like the the engines got caught like there was like seagulls yeah, in the shit? Uh-huh. Oh okay. Like my dad, my mom called me from like work. She was like, "Yo, it's a plane in the Hudson right now." I'm like, "What?" When, like what how long ago was this again? It was like what? In what 2015, 2014? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was wild, bro. Maybe maybe. So 13 maybe Did anybody die in that? No Oh yeah survived. Cause of him right? Mm-hmm. But they tried to say it was his fault Oh, It wasn't his fault My son's a hero Yeah Shout out to him bro But This conspiracy behind 9-11 Is cause they said <coughs> George Bush They there's, there's two conspiracies They said George Bush Made it happen Or He let it happen George Bush was Bin Laden's best friend bro <laughs> That was his boy bro He was like yo what if it was probably watching the Laker game one day. Or well, oh, he's no, watching Cavs game. Cavs Cavs game. No, no, no. I don't think LeBron, LeBron wasn't in the NBA yet. Oh, he's watching him in high LeBron school. LeBron in high he's school. He's watching him in high school. He's like, watching. yo, this LeBron kid's going to be nice, right? And he was like, yo, let's let's just kill people for no reason on 9-11. Why like, let's, just, let's go fly. Let's just, just let's go fly. I'll give you three planes and just, just fuck go. shit up. Like, that's OD. Because, like, what I, I was watching this during the game today when we was working. So, like, mm-hmm. we work in soccer games and shit. So I was watching like conspiracy theories because me, Jordan, and Abe were talking about it, and Jordan believed like, nah, like this shit wasn't like like it was a terrorist attack. But I'm like saying like, yo, like the reason why people were saying like it happened was to start war because like to start like when we go to war, something big has to happen for us to go to war, like That's bombings, Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor yeah. uh, terrorist attacks, anything Holocaust. bad. The whole, yeah, the Holocaust. That shit was Max. Freaking the what was that? The Confederates versus them shits. Oh, yeah. There was something that happened. They wanted freedom though. Yeah, they wanted freedom. <laughs> so they had to do oh the Boston Tea Party. There we go. So freedom. Some shit got to happen to spark it. So we they were saying like we needed money at the time. So we so we needed money. So we destroyed the the economy. They we we destroyed the economy. Like they did that to scare people, mm-hmm. and then we tell them oh. It's Al Qaeda. It's this, that, and the third. They did all this shit, and that when people are scared, they're gonna believe anything. So they're like, "Oh, they did this shit. Sign up. Sign the niggas up." 
to go make weapons, go make tanks, go uh, go to war and shit. But like, and then I heard some guy on the news was on like some British news station. He was saying like, it's a conspiracy because how did they figure out it was these people so fast? Mm-hmm. Like they knew who it was exactly, like the people's names, but like the whole plane blew up. So how the exactly. hell you know uh-huh. it was uh, the Taliban or some shit? So it's like, that's mad weird. It's like, that's this the same thing happened with the John F. Kennedy assassination. Mm-hmm. Like, they knew who it was, like Lee Harvey Oswald immediately. It was like, There's it was him. Theory that, that it wasn't him. Yeah, it was actually a secret serviceman that killed him by accident. That's another theory people say. Bro, there's a lot of theories in this world. They say he got shot in the back of the head, but he went forward so, and said. I got an inside, right, by 9-11. So, I know a guy that knows a girl that knows another girl that works for the government. And she was like, like, yo, like, you know that third plane? The third plane for 9-11 that didn't crash into a building? Mm-hmm. You know, like how it just magically crashed? And she was like, it didn't crash. What happened? It's what she's did. What do you mean what happened? They blew it. Oh, they blew it up? United States was like, don't get that down with the sky real fast. So nobody seen that sh- Like, uh, wait, you're saying like they blew that shit up or they just... Yeah, United States, the government was like, no, don't get that out of the sky. That's crazy, because it's like, how they knew that was just like a hijack? I mean, maybe they were just trying to protect us or some shit. Nah, they knew it was like, yo, like, hold on, that's the, that's the third plane the terrorists is on? They better come for the White House or, or oh, the Pentagon? Oh, so Ooh, they... Sh- the Pentagon or the White yeah, House? the Pentagon. Oh, they coming for the Pentagon? Yo, just knocked out the sky real fast. Oh, so there's but, like... But the report is that they fought back on that plane, and the plane crashed. Yeah, I seen I seen a video of that. They have like a recording of like people yeah, fighting nah, on that nah. shit. My, my insider, my insider, insider, insider... Of the insider told me the government was. She was like, "Nah." She didn't say, she said she said that she ain't say it, but she implied it, which means a lot in government talk. You know? Yeah, cause that's crazy, bro. Cause I mean, like, it could have been like a terrorist thing, but like, I don't know. Like that should change the whole world, bro. I know. Like we was what one at the time, so we never knew. Like two, maybe. Yeah. So like we never I knew. I was two. I was. I think I was turning two. Because, yeah, June, yeah, I was yeah no no I probably was two I probably was two no I was turning two because it's like before my birthday yeah. but so it's like that's crazy because niggas was really like in fear after that like they didn't trust the government at all because like how the fuck you let this shit happen exactly like how the hell you and it was also saying like that impact of the plane couldn't have possibly yeah. let the buildings fall. They're trying to say the, like, they blew them up from the bottom. Yeah. Because it's like how the building collapsed. Like it came they said out. it looked like a demolition you site. You know what I'm saying? It did. Like how did they come in this way? It's like, it like the way it blew up, it like went in and then it just started. It didn't blow. It, it didn't go down immediately. It took like right. a couple seconds and then it said do, 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 do. A couple minutes. It was in the, yeah. It was in, the plane was just in that building for a minute. Yeah. But how, like you said, like how did you blow up from the bottom? I, don't, the top. I mean, I seen something like I was watching hella videos today. So mm-hmm. I seen something. It was like a demolition team showing them like how they blow shit up. Uh-huh. And like they sh- they show they look through the rubble and you could see like the little shits, uh-huh. the little um detonators. Yeah. But I'm like, it's a big ass like they did on a little building. That's a uh-huh. big ass building. Yeah. And they're not worried about looking at detonators. They're worried, yeah, they're, worried about they're finding worried about, the people. They're worried about that plane. Like, okay, the detonator didn't do that. That plane that was in the building did that. Yeah. So it's like, what the fuck? Like. I would think that the building would just, you know, tilt over. Yeah, I, like if a plane hit, I'm not thinking the building going straight down. Yeah. I'm thinking that shit going like sideways. Exactly. Because like I feel, they said, I also seen another video. They were saying like buildings made like that, like t- tall buildings, they're mm-hmm. reinforced very well. They're supposed to withstand, like, withstand a hit. Yeah. So and, like for real, if anything, the top should just fall off. Yeah. And especially <clears throat> the way it was. So they, they compared it to boxing. So, you know. They said like Muhammad Ali, like he doesn't knock you out. He'll he'll hit you with jabs mm-hmm. until you fall. Yeah. So that's equivalent to like that plan is like a knockout hit, but the way it fell, like when you knock somebody out, like they go back. Yeah, they don't go that back. plane went in and it dropped. Like yeah. how like if you hit somebody with mad jabs, they just drop. Like they body just go down. That shit just went it went impact and went down. So they was just saying like, oh, that shit just blew up. Like, they had detonators in the building. But they were trying to say, like, they don't know how all them people... Like, to do that job, to put all them detonators on all them little pillars mm-hmm. takes a, a lot of people. And they don't know how they're going to do that secretively. But, I mean, like, it's the government. It's the government. You feel me? Like, they can do anything they want, bro. They control us, bro. They probably did it. And, like, yo, and dipped. And killed the people that, like, that scene. I'm like, oh, we're going through this. Pow, pow, pow. 
<laughs> like that shit is really like the government. Like, it's really scary because I talk about this a lot. Like, it's scary how the government could <clears throat> make us how they want to make us. Yeah, they, make they us could what we want. whatever. Like whatever they want us to believe. You feel me? That's they what, they could just that's what we know. About. Like I don't even think the president probably even control of everything. Hell no, it's not. It's impossible. And I don't think. I feel like they hide stuff from them too. Like yeah, the government is some this big fat white dude. Sitting in his basement. The government, it's it's <clears throat> multiple. There, they say, they say. Um, first of all, it's impossible for one person to. No, you could do your ASMR. Go ahead. <laughs> this shit fire. <laughs> <laughs> we about we about to go on YouTube for ASMR now. This shit fire. ASMR and mukbangs. Nah, your mom didn't cut that watermelon. She, I swear she did. That shit fire. That shit tough, right? I need to teach my grandma how to cut it like that. She what? cut them in just big ass pieces. Like what? Like slices? <clears throat> nah, just, just big ass random pieces of watermelon. Are you serious? It'd be fire, but you feel me? That got a little crunch to it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <clears throat> Wait, what was you talking about again? Oh, the government. So it's like the government could teach us and mold us into any form, anything that they want us to think. Like they can make us believe anything they want. Like I was talking to Fritz about. People in North Korea, mm -hmm. they don't act like us because they have a different government. Yeah. They, they, you know, they scared for their lives in North Korea. Exactly. Yeah. So, like us, they don't know like all the shit that's going on. That's what I'm saying. Like, isn't it crazy that Dennis Rodman just did go to North Korea though and play basketball with Kim Jong Un? Like, it's nothing. He's a weirdo. He's, that's my idol. Why? Like, other than Derrick Rose, like, why not, bro? Why Dennis Rodman? The dude married himself, bro. He's a gangster. You can do it. Come on. That nigga was on. Go to the camera. Come on. Go to the mic. Oh, wait. That shit sound crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga did hard drugs, bro. And and came in the game and got 22 rebounds. Nigga came in the game on a hangover. 22 0 and 0. <laughs> <laughs> Not 22. I'll give him three blocks and four steals. No, I was saying zero assists. Zero oh, points. yeah. <laughs> no points. Nigga had hella rebounds, five bro. Five rebounds. I mean, five steals, two blocks. That nigga's a whole conspiracy on his own, bro. He's not human, bro. He's like, he's a animal. He's a he's a lizard person. <laughs> lizard person. <laughs> you ever heard about that? Nah. They said, they say like you know Illuminati. Mm -hmm. They say like, so, they say the government has something higher than the government that yeah. controls the government. Yeah. It tells them what to do, and they say they're a bunch of lizard people. Oh, that'd be like cool. shape shifting lizard people. That'd that. be cool. I would be, that'd be cool. cool. That'd be kind of scary though. Like, what if you just walked into like the government? The government room by accident, like, it was, let's say it was in Jersey, you went to a porta potty to pee, you just fell down, and it's the lizard people just looking at you. Nigga, I'm gonna be like, I'm blind. I'm gonna tell them I'm blind. I can't. I'm gonna act like I nah, can't you see. You can't say I'm blind because now they know you see them. You just gotta keep. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Damn, what the hell I'm at? Like, I just gotta keep walking. <laughs> like, That's my first. I, I'm gonna. I have to remember make that my first instinct. It'll be like, like so yeah. you can't even pause. You just gotta keep walking. Yeah. Okay, if you pause and be like, oh, this nigga's seen us. Just gotta be like, shit. Like, you know, that's what they say about, um, like, the Denver. You ever heard of the Denver airport, like, theory? No. So, the Denver airport is, like, a airport that has, like, a lot of uh symbols in it that represent the end of the world. Like, the New World Order. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of signs that show the end of the world. They have, like, a big-ass black horse no. outside. And they say that in that airport, in the bottom is, like, a big-ass... <laughs> It's like the way they built it. Like if you go all the way into the bottom, it's like a big ass city, and that's where they have like government meetings. And then there's like tunnels. There's like there's like new technology down there that we don't even have. Like there's like train tracks where it's like hovering, like in fucking uh, Wakanda forever. Say that shit, Wakanda. <laughs> yeah, it was just like that. They have them shits. It's like they have new technology, but it's like the new world. That's where the all the meetings go. It's like a secret thing, but it's like they have like little things around it. How do you even sign up to be like you know? You have to have no life. That's what I'm saying. You have to not know, not know anybody. Like the CIA, that's they recruit, they recruit foster kids. Oh, that's crazy. Like, cause they don't have no families. You can't tell nobody you don't know. That like, if you don't have nobody, you can't tell nobody. That's that's messed up. I mean, I'm gonna have my one of my kids going to foster care. So you can be a CIA. But, but I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep in touch with him on the low. Don't like, do that, cause like, he's gonna fucking kill you. Nah, nah. I'm like, yo, I'm training you to make this world better. Nigga, it's the CIA. They're gonna hear him. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna text him. What you gonna do? Oh, you just gonna know. write him? I don't know. I'm gonna just drop notes on the floor. Just... Like you just gonna. Oh, you know what you could do? You could be this. You can put him in foster care, but you could work at the foster house. Oh, facts. That's. I got, 
Or I gotta do it in like a different state though. Yeah. Like, you know. Oh, you gotta go to like Utah and then act like, oh, that's a tough ass movie, low key. That's what I'm saying. Like just a ima- all right, this is the yo, that's hard. Like like the whole time like you're his foster parent, but you're actually his I'm real dad. dad. Right. And you're just watching all the recruited to the CIA. Yeah. And you're just hovering around and you're wondering how and like all this information is being leaked and they don't know how and it's because of you. Because of me. Cause that. Because I'm like, yeah, I'm about to expose the government. That's hard. To my son. The, at the end of the day, I think the son's going to have to kill you. I don't care. I live the great life. That's hard. At, the, at that point, like, feel me, I'm a hero. Y- you low-key he are. Go, he could off me. I don't care. <laughs> First, the last thing he's going to do, like, before I kill, he killed me, I trusted you. Wait, before you kill me. I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna kill me. <laughs> They're gonna think you a counselor, bro. Like you're gonna train him to like you're gonna be like training him to be like an assassin or some shit on the low. Like do like karate, show him how to shoot a guns and shit. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah. hard. Like yeah. what do you think the name of the movie that would be? Foster Kid? Nah, it's ass. Down uh, lo- down below. Down that I think that's a movie. Is it really? That's a scary that's, movie. That's oh, no, like, as above down below. That was a scary it's movie. Like a, I thought it's not like a slow movie. Nah, it's like a scary movie about the caverns of France. This cavern? Who the fuck watches that shit? I did. It was scary. It was weird. You are weird for watching that. It was It was a good movie. You are weird. But that would be a tough movie. That's what I'm saying. I'll, I'll watch it. that shit. Let's write it down right now. Let's make it. It's got the hood, bro. I mean, it's not really the hood we're at. You go to my house, it's kind of the hood. This is the hood, bro. This is Junior. Jersey. Big U, big U you have bro. A, you have a basketball hoop outside your house. What's that supposed to mean? They have basketball hoops outside in Jersey City. Nah, not the same. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know they have basketball hoops on the street, so all the kids can play. All the kids. <laughs> it's not really a basketball hoop. It's like that broken one. Yeah, it's, it's like, like lopsided. And like the rim is There's like a crooked. hole in the backboard. And the rim is crooked for some reason. <laughs> that's just, you know, them, them little streets be lit, though. They be, they be going crazy. I'm telling you, if you're nice right there, that's where the true stars are born. That's, that's true. How you really, like, that's how you know you're a bucket. Like You, you got f- buckets on the street? That's true, cause like but no three point line, no three point line, just going no hard foul line, just going no hard. fouls, bro. It's like two families, like two families by a basketball hoop. You got a full court basketball court. That's what I'm saying. Last drop of water. Make it, make it. Uh, oh, you got watermelon. Hold on, hold on. That was hard. That was hard. That was hard. Hey, that was God. tough. I'm not gonna lie. Oh shit. You have any other conspiracies that you believe in? Damn. Let me think. I have a lot, but I'm trying to save them for another episode. Do you know if like humans disappeared, you know how much better the world would just be? I know. Like you know how much planets would just like the planet would just thrive. Just mm-hmm. humans disappeared. There was like we're they, terrible. They say like the earth is like the organism and we're the sickness. That's what I'm saying. Like we're literally coronavirus right now. We are. Like, and like the coronavirus is No, nah, let me not say that. We're AIDS. <laughs> we're not going nowhere. And we're just take we just slowly taking over more and more and more and more and more <laughs> and we're not going anywhere <laughs> until we just until the earth just dies and when the earth dies it's like the asteroid comes in that's what we just nigga said we're AIDS we're definitely AIDS yo that's OD but hey bro with the, they say like the diseases that be put out to the earth that's like the earth's way of like you know how we have antibodies uh-huh. in our system when we have a cold. That's their way of killing yeah, us all. Yeah, yeah, like yo, get rid of these people. Like, cause they like, doing too much. Yeah, they're they killing like, me right now. Like yo, hold on, they just keep evolving. Like, why they not dead yet? The Earth is tired of us. Hey, right, bro, I don't know. You know what's crazy? Like, there's gonna be a point in your in your life that like, there's gonna be like your great 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 grandchild. He's not gonna be gonna care that you like has ever existed. I know. Like, it's gonna be a point where. Like, like, like nobody's gonna care that we existed. This is a point in that in life, like every time, like every that's life. What I'm saying, like your great great grandfather, you don't care about him. That's true. You like, don't think about him like, damn, that was my great great grandfather. That's true. Like, like my great 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 grandfather. Like, unless we do something very special. That's what I'm saying. Unless you like, like LeBron James or or like Derrick Rose or Martin Luther King or me. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think they might. Unless you do something crazy. Nah, this was no. Nobody cares about me. Hey, bro, them niggas. They they gonna forget about it. that's crazy how like once after many years like we're not we're that's not gonna what I'm be saying, like they're lived, not gonna know who we are. You just lived eighty years of this life, so let's say you live to eighty, you live eighty years on this on this earth, and then two hundred years nobody's gonna care. Nobody's gonna care. Nobody's gonna remember. That's what I'm saying. Nobody's gonna, like oh, okay. I read you know oh he made my my dad's daughter, grandmother. What if <clears throat> like 
because it's like I talked to Fritz about this about reincarnation. Like, what if we just reincarnate to the same life and we just don't think about that? We just like so. I just as soon as I die, back to start the, over, and I'm just still me. But like, then, so that means we in a simulation. Then, I mean, maybe we just keep because I can't I can't transform back into me because what if I die right now? If I transform back into me, but it's like in another dimension or another time. Oh, another dimension. Yeah, that'd so, be tough. It might be. I don't know. Like we what know. If, what if we really just like sleep right now, and like when we die, we wake up. Cause you have a dream. I have a dream, and you see a random person in that dream. You don't know who that person is. Mm-hmm. Like I, I be making up people in my dreams all the time. I'm like, who are these people? I never met that dude in my life. Maybe those are people from our past life. Mm. You ever think about that? No, oh, that's a good that's one. That's Crazy, right? Like, oh, that's a good one. Like maybe that's people from like you know our older. Like, maybe that was my like I was a dog in my past life, and that was my owner. I be thinking I was a dog too. I don't know why. I just feel like, you know. Like that was your owner or something? Yeah, like. That's crazy. I never like thought I always, of that. Like, I get random people in my dreams all the time. I think I was like a World War vet or something. Cause I, I think I traveled the world. You think so? Because I'll be, I swear I'll have a dream. It'll just be a random Indian dude in my dream. <laughs> like, who are you? That's crazy. I never thought of that. I'm not going to lie. That's what I'm saying. That just opened my mind. Like, what if, what if that's why we have dreams? We're just like unlocking our memory. Like, we just reincarnate to new people, but like. Our memories are just gone, but like sometimes, like we just bring it back. It's still in our head, though, you know. That's it's scary. Like a, a, a full cycle is just. It's just like forever. It's like a loop, but like we're or, not. At- or what if that person? What if we just live mad lives? And what if that person was us in our old life? What do you mean? So like that Indian. Maybe I was an Indian person. Maybe that Indian person was me. Oh, so it's like you're just seeing yourself. Exactly. Oh. I don't know. Like. Or that was my mother or something. Like. My oh, your dad. father. Oh, my brother. Oh, so he's just like part of your old life. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, like the fucking Avatar. Yeah, I never finished Avatar. But you never, you, you don't remember when Aang used to like do meditation and he used to see all his past lives of like all the old Avatars. Okay. You need to watch Avatar, my nigga. That shit's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That shit's heat. <laughs> that shit's top five. It's on Netflix. You need to watch that I immediately. I, 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 I have to. <laughs> that shit is crazy. She exposed bro. the shit out of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, bro. Next subject of the list is called Pick a Side. I like doing this. I like doing this once in a while to see where niggas head there. Mm-hmm. So, would you rather be a seven foot Michael Jordan but get hurt every five game, like every fifth game you get hurt and you got to, you have to sit out for 20 games? Mm-hmm. Or would you be an average NBA role player and just have one major injury in your career where you sit out for two years? Oh, I'd rather be Sean. That's like Sean Livingston. Yeah. I'd rather be the Sean Livingston. But games is crazy. But you're a seven foot Michael Jordan. Like I mean, them well, five. I, w- I wouldn't want to be seven foot. So I'd rather just be that. You wouldn't want to be seven foot. Nah, that's too tall, bro. Why? Like honestly, I, I think I'm at my perfect height right now. Are you serious? Like you like being six two? I would rather be like six five, six six. Like six six is push. Like that's it. Six seven. Why don't you want to be that tall? I mean, that's like that's mad big, bro. I mean, like, my boy is seven foot. Yeah, no. He's just like he's just too tall. Like, <laughs> how do you? Like how you function around? Yeah, like you just walk like around, fit in a car. Just walk around seven foot. You can't find clothes. I mean, my dad, like my dad's like six six. So like he, he just thought, he just found clothing. In high school, he had no drip. Nah, he didn't. He I'm had a lot about, of. I'm talking about my boy Pierre. Oh shit! Not yeah, my. You're talking about your dad too. <laughs> so I said you had no drip, pops. <laughs> I didn't say that. I'm talking about my boy. You said he had no drip in high school. You was, yeah, nah, he had no drip in high school. Like what do you wear? Like like it looked like he just wore whatever fit. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I'm I met him before you, cause my uncle brought a kid like when I was playing at pure basketball. You told me this, yeah. Yeah, he brought him when like he was like, I got a six seven guy for you. I was like, where are you from? T neck. I was like, really? You gotta be him. Ain't yeah, nobody that it was him. T-neck. It was definitely him. And he came in. And he was like, where are you from? And he was like, is he African? Yeah, from yeah. Senegal. He said he just came from like. Did he just come from like Africa? No, nah, I think he grew up in T neck. Okay, then my uncle was just being disrespectful. Damn. <laughs> my uncle trying to go crazy. <laughs> he was like, nah, we just got him off the... He grew up in Teaneck, New Jersey. Pierre, I hope you watch this. He was ass. <laughs> he still is ass. But like, <laughs> like up until like maybe two years ago, he was hot garbage. Like, he wasn't good at basketball. Two years ago, don't he play at Hampton? He was ass when he came to Hampton. <laughs> <laughs> is he still playing at Hampton now? No, he plays at Hartford now. Oh, in um, Connecticut? I think he's going to have a good year this year. Oh, you think so? I hope so. He better. He got a full scholarship there? Yep. I mean, if you're seven foot, you should have a scholarship. In. I think nah. seven footers get, like, if you play basketball, if you're seven feet, you're automatically getting a Division One scholarship. You should. If you don't, 
your ass is fucked. Exactly. Like there's just no. Like he didn't deserve the Hampton scholarship. I'm talking. I'll say that right now. <laughs> he was hot garbage, bro. He was bad at basketball. <laughs> There what? was no, like, he made the game so much harder for himself. He was bad at basketball. Why was he so bad? He was just butt. <laughs> he just didn't, he didn't, didn't belong on the basketball court. <laughs> but now he, 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 he nice now. He got, he got it now. No, okay. He still can't kill me. Like, he see me in the paint, he gets scared. He know he getting fouled. Corey, bro, nigga just, he don't give a fuck, bro. He gonna foul you hard. He play like he in the 90s. Bro. All right. I got another one. Another pick a side. Uh-huh. So, would you rather be lost at sea for two weeks Ooh. or lost in the mountains for a month? Lost in the mountains. Because if I'm lost at sea for two weeks, I'm going to die. Okay. Lost at sea for two weeks will give you a plate of food and a fishing pole. So, if I don't catch the fish, like, can I still get a plate of food? You you get one plate of food for two weeks. So, you have to ration that shit. Oh, no. Nah, mountains. Yeah. Mountains. I'm picking mountains, too. Because honestly, bro. And I'm scared. Of, I'm scared of, like the ocean. Ocean's the ocean's scary, scary bro. Like, imagine at nighttime. You ever been on a cruise? It's just pitch black. Pitch black. Like, and, like, you can't see shit. I would, just, I'm like, I would die of anxiety. I would, too. Like, anxiety. I would just, just drown myself. Exhaustion, my nigga. I'm not going to sleep in the swaying, bro. I'm going to get saying. fucking seasick. I would just drown myself. Two weeks. If I see a whale or something, I'm going to just eat me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm going to take it. Yo. Oh, nah, that's, that's OD, bro. Like, I remember... Like, I used to watch, like, uh, movies about niggas get lost at sea. I don't know how... Nigga, th- you ever watch that movie Unbroken? Mm-hmm. That nigga survived at sea for, like, uh, like two months or it something. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me, my nigga. I would just, just give up. I was... Like, he did like, for real. Like, that's why I don't want to go... Ever want to go to a boat. Cause if it crashes, I'm going to give up. Like, I'm not strong enough. All right, I'll go on a boat, though, because I don't think... I can... I think I'm not going to end up like Titanic. They was, they was dumb as fuck in the Titanic. I will just give up, bro. Like, I'm like... Them, that nigga... First of all, he survives... Two months out at sea. That's crazy. And then he got captured by the Japanese. Damn, that's ass. I mean, yo, just throw me back in the water. Bro. Yeah, that nigga had. A, first of all, he had. He was a. He was an Olympic track runner. He then he went to. I think it was like World War Two. Crashed into the ocean. Lost at sea for two months. Picked up by the Japanese. Tortured. They knew he was an Olympic track star, so they picked on him most of the time. And he had to hold up a big ass freaking um wooden uh beam. And if he dropped it, they was gonna shoot his ass. I dropped it. Like, he just, he said something. He was like, and then he didn't drop that shit. Hugged that bitch for like two hours. I would just dropped it. Like, imagine malnourished. I would have dropped it, bro. I would have dropped it, too. Kill me. Like, as soon as he was about to drop it, the, the they said the war was over. And I would, and I would, I would do a big SMD before I dropped it. And dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, that shit. Like, nah, but the sea is no joke, bro. Not messing with water, bro. Water not, and fire, bro. I'll go, I'll go into the woods. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'll go into the, I mean, it's like the mountains with snow and shit. So you think cool. you, for a month? Cool. Okay, I'm with it. I think I'm good too. Like the the cold, I can. I'll lose, I'll lose a couple fingers, bro. That's yeah, cool. I'll, I'll lose. I'll find some shelter. That's what I'm I can find food, water. There's no. You can't drink that water in the ocean. You can't. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna I'm drink it. I'm gonna be tempted. I'm like, nah, I gotta do it. <laughs> you nah. fuck around and die, bro. Like, that shit's mad scary, bro. Like. I don't know. Niggas be really lost. Like a lot of people get lost at sea. I know. Like a lot. That's like a thing for real. Like I don't know, bro. Oh hell no. So you do you ever you ever watch the show Naked and Afraid? Mm-hmm. You ever watch the show Twenty uh, Sixty Days In? Mm-hmm. You go to jail for sixty days. Yeah. Which one would you rather do? Oh, uh, which jail am I going? Am I going to like oh, a the tough the toughest jail? Like it's like Mexican prison. The it's like the Green Monster in Newark. Mm. Or Rikers you Go to Rikers Where's Rikers at? Rikers Island in New York Oh oh oh, <sighs> oh na- Or Naked and Afraid How long am I doing? 21 days 21 days? I don't like I feel like I could survive in prison But I'm gonna be like very like For 60 days right? In prison? 60 days Two months Two months in prison Or three weeks in the wild I think I could survive in prison but, like, I feel like I'd rather just go to, like, because, like, prison, anything can happen. Because, mm-hmm. like, I could get fucking stabbed. I get raped in that bitch. Like, I mean, nobody, I don't think nobody raping people in prison in 2021. I think you, you never get, know, bro. You, if you, if you get in, if, you know, you willingly giving it up. You ain't getting raped in prison. That's, no I mean, you never know, bro. You never know, but that's what I think, you know. I, I, I heard of some shit, bro. Like, I seen some video. It was, like, a, a prisoner that talking about, like, his experiences. He said there was a nigga that, uh, he was like, um, he was walking past a cell and he seen two guys, right? One guy had his hand, like the guy tied up his roommate mm-hmm. and his feet were 
above where above his head, and he mm-hmm. tied up his hands and feet. He was just like going to town on him. God, and then they was like, "Yo," they, and the door was like, "He was like, yo, what the fuck you doing, bro? Like, why you doing cuz like that?" He's like, "Yo, yo, stop untie that nigga, bro." Like, yo, he's like, "Bro," then I he like he was about to do it. He was like, "Bro, if you put your shit, yo, yo, in him, bro, we gonna fuck you up." And that nigga didn't give a fuck. He just started going to town on that oh, nigga. God. And then yeah. they was like, "Yo, yo, come on, bro. He like he, he Terrell, bro." Like, it was like, yeah, and that's crazy. That's like, a crazy thing to see. Bro. I'd be like, "Yo, I wouldn't even say no. I just kept walking, bro." Yo, and like they couldn't do nothing because he locked the door. It's like, "Yo, open the door!" Like they, he fucking this nigga. Like nigga, that's head. crazy. How you allow yourself to get tied up? I'm not gonna lie. I'm walking away, bro. You allowed yourself to get tied up, bro. <laughs> like, hung up. bro, his feet were above his head. Nah. Tied to the bed and just getting railed, bro. Nah, that's all. That's all your fault. Bro. <laughs> you allowed yourself to get tied up like that. That's all your fault. That's od. You ever seen snowfall? Uh, no. Uh, all right, you want to understand it? Then. Why it's no? It's like, snowfall like power? Yeah, but it's like California. Oh, 80s. oh. But third episode, dude gets raped. Are you serious? And it's like, same thing. Tied up, hands behind his back. Like it. the dude, like he didn't want. Like, where's the money at? Fuck you! Bro. I'm not giving up the money. Oh, you're not giving it up? Drug, drug him in the room, raped him. He drugged him? No, like dragged oh, dragged him, him dragged him. Nah, raped that's him. OD. You know what I'm saying, I don't think people raping them. That's how I'm doing. So you, what you doing? Twenty one. Yeah, I'm doing twenty one days. I do three weeks in the wild. So just know, I'm let you know right now. Am I butt ass naked though? Butt ass naked. Oh shit! And you with another person, another female, butt ass naked. Could it be me and Jay? Yeah, she's your partner. All right, yeah, I will go with Jay. Of course you would. Jay's not your partner. It's a random person. You still going to? I'm do- going to prison. Oh, you're such a simp. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully, a simp. I'm going to prison. Y'all don't got y'all don't got to do nothing. Y'all just got to see each other naked the other day and work together to survive, like the show. Nah, I'm cool. I'm going to. I'm I'm going my separate ways. All right, so you just going to do a solo mission? Yeah, I'm gonna do. A, I'm a I'm gonna put ants in her in the tent so she can go home. So you would do it by yourself? Yeah, I do it by myself. So like by yourself over going to jail? Yeah. You're crazy. I'm going to jail in a heartbeat. I think I like where am I where am I at? Am I in the jail? No, I'm at like in the like. Am I in the jungle? Am I in the forest? Public? Oh wait, yeah, you're like in the, in like my, the Amazon. The, wherever they put you. So yeah, it might be the Amazon. I mean, shit. You get one thing to bring, like like a fire starter or a knife. You get to bring one thing. And they I think you, I'm. And they give you one pot. <laughs> Damn, what would I what would I bring? A knife or a fire starter? I don't know how to make fire. Me neither. So I think I'm being. I mean, but what am I gonna kill if I don't got no? I mean, I could make a. I guess I could try to make a spear out of like rock, like I could shave it with rocks. So I guess I'll bring a fire starter and a pot. Yeah, I could do that. See, that's why I'm going to jail. You're going to go to jail? I'm going to jail. One, I can't sleep on the floor with bugs, bro. I see one bug, I quit. I'm going to quit. I see one bug. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think this is going to be? All right. All right, you're not going to Riker. You're going to Mexican prison. You ever heard of Mexican prison, bro? I'm going, bro. I'm not going to. Mexican prison is a little bad, bro. Guess what? I'll- you're you're going to see bugs on that floor. I'm going to go with Sepese. <laughs> Me, you got no problem. I'm not, I'm not going. I'm not doing neck and free. I think oh, like prison though. Nah, I think I, I think I could do naked and afraid, but not doing it. I think I think I'm gonna get like some type of fucking like I'm go gonorrhea to, or some shit. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna get my street cred there. You are gonna get your street cred in the, in the prison? I think I don't know what's the worst prison. All right, there's a all right. There was a prison that me and Jay watched this movie about like French prisons, mm-hmm. or it was like a guy from France. He got arrested and got sent to an island. Yeah, it was on Amazon. Y'all are weird, bro. Whoa, hold on, I want to do one more too. Okay, let me do it. Let's do it together. All right, ready, 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 ready. Let me do the drip. Let me do. You have to drip. do the the air. They pack like, ASMR. ASMR. Hey, wait, wait. Look me in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's nah, bad game. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. But now nah, they sent him to an island in the middle in like the in Panama. And it was like if he escaped you escape once, mm-hmm. you go into solitary confinement. And that's solitary it was like back in the day. So solitary confinement is like they put you in a box. Like a I know uh, what I was Yeah, like a box, no windows, and they close the top on you. So you're just sitting in pitch black darkness for two years straight. So pitch, crazy. so pitch black darkness, and like you don't see nothing. The second time, you escape. After you get solitary confinement, you get you get sent to another island where it's like a bunch of insane niggas, like crazy niggas, and they're like, 
they're getting they're like hanging themselves killing each other like they put like food out in the middle like they're a bunch of animals and like you stay there for the rest of your life oh, it's, man, that's crazy. no no that's the second time i think you're in sausage confinement for five years and then you get sent to that shit so cuz he he escaped and he escaped with this guy this it was him and because he he got a he got framed mm. so then it was another guy that got sent to jail he was a rich guy for a bank fraud so he got sent to prison and he had hella money so he um he was like yo if you help me escape then i got i got money for you and like i'll help you because the guy that um got uh set up he was like uh he was like a fire he was like a thief so like he had like combat skills so he's like oh if you help me like i can help you get the the shit that you need to escape so mm. they escaped they got on a boat they escaped but the niggas caught him when they went to like Argentina or some shit, or some 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 uh, colony in South America, and they caught and the the people there they called the police and they got them niggas. And the guy, they were supposed like the two guys they were supposed to split up. They was like he was like yo I'm done with you after this, mm. and then he left. But then he was like, let me go back with him because he felt bad. And if he would never went back, he would have been home free, like oh, like home free. Like they, I'll tell you right now, I'm I wasn't thinking I wasn't feeling bad. I was out. That's what I'm saying. Like oh. niggas is crazy, bro. Like he's right there. He's still weirdo for watching this movie and watching it. Me and Jay like watching a lot of movies on Amazon, um, Amazon, Amazon Prime. Prime. Yeah, so we just watch whatever. Like there's a movie about like the Michael B. Jordan movie. Which one? Total Remorse. Oh, that's a good one. That shit's heat. That's a good one. Nah, but okay. So back what you were saying, right? So naked and afraid, or you're gonna be in solitary confinement. But I mean, like pitch darkness for six for two months. Two months. Of just darkness. Like, just imagine sitting in the dark for two months. Damn. That's OD, bro. Like, you, you will go mentally insane. Two months? Like, in a I box. Gotta, I gotta do naked and afraid. All right, so so then, if it wasn't, if it was just, you just went to prison for, like, murder, and you was getting out in two months, you would just do that? Yep. That's respectful, what about this, if, I, if I just went to prison and did regular solitary, I'd do it. That That's respectable. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not doing 20. I'm not doing Okay. I have to have a partner and she has to carry me if I do it. Like she has to be dumb nice because I'm not offering nothing to the table. <laughs> <laughs> not a thing. Yo. You're not going to help at all? I'm going to try to help, but I'm I'm going to be... No. So what if I just stay in one area? I mean, you could do that. You're going to die. I mean, I, I think I could survive if I just stay in one area. And then, no, you're in the wilderness. So like in oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A mountain yeah. lion or whatever okay. they send you. A, okay, mountain, okay, like okay, a, okay. a regular lion. Grizzly bear, that makes sense. alligator. All right. All right, let me do. Let me do one more. Yeah. So last one is like, would you rather have a private plane and go anywhere, but never drive a car, or get in a car again, or have free gas for the rest of your life, but can never hop on a plane? So I've only been on the plane like three times in my life. So really, I'll just do that. Yeah, I just do the free gas. Oh, you do free gas? Yeah. Oh, I think I'll do that too. Cause yeah. low key. Like I can't get in no vehicle again. I have to walk everywhere the rest of my life. I'm saying I never, I never, I never left the country anyway, so I'm not missing nothing. Do you think you'll ever leave the country? I would like to now. Mm. Everybody's doing it. I'm just like, yeah, hey, I just went to Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't talking about you, you fucking simp. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend, my girlfriend, my girlfriend. <laughs> that's all. That's all he thinks about my girlfriend, my girlfriend, my girlfriend. Nigga wanted to say that so bad. I could, I could wait. I could wait to drop it. I could wait. <laughs> I was waiting for the perfect time to drop it. <laughs> my girlfriend, my girlfriend. Yo. Yo, the best deal. I heard the first, y'all watched the first episode. He he didn't name drop me. I'm mad he didn't name drop me. The boy sat next to him on the bench was B. I oh, was yeah, sitting right, right next to him. I was, we, we pointed her out. He was like, yo, look at her. She's bad. I was like, word. <laughs> <laughs> we not even about to play, bro. She's not, she not paying attention to you. you. I'm sorry. I thought I did say your name. You did say my name. No, you did say my name. He was like, oh, like, what if you DM Corey first? <laughs> 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 I'm, not, I'm that piece of a shit. Nah, <laughs> nah, yeah, but he he was with me when I met met Jay the first time ever. He was like, "Yo, she's bad." I'm like, "Bro, she's not." But we don't play, bro. She's not gonna find you. Like, she don't. Yo, she you. liked all the layer packages Yo. I was doing. I actually, I think yeah. I almost dunked that day. You never dunked. You didn't almost dunk that. Bro, day. I did. Dunk he was like on that. you from the layup. Like, nah, he was. That was that was weird. He was on some weird time. He was like, looking, like "Yo, lay the ball up, bro." <laughs> My son just kept looking back. Yeah, niggas thought I was lying, bro. It was he's like love bench. at first he's sight. He's sitting on the bench. He's like, yo, he's not even watching the game. Yo, he watches the game. I'm trying to give him the toolie. He like this. <laughs> like, yo, get the toolie. He like, yo, my bad, bro. Remember when she left, bro? I was oh, he was hurt when you left. Oh, when you left, he was hurt. 
<laughs> nah, he was hurt when you left. Oh my god. She was like, damn, yo, she left, yo. I'm like, it's okay, bro. Like, and then she followed me on Instagram. She followed us on Instagram. Yeah, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then and then uh her friend liked you, so I mean it was always it was always gonna be me, bro. <laughs> it was always gonna be me. I mean, yeah, yeah, perfect is you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, but since we on this little subject of relationship, what do you what is your idea? Like, what is your take on, like, boy and girl best friends if you have, like, a girl? Oh. Because that's, like, a big... Damn. That's a big thing. So, if the, bo- the boy best friend was already, like, present before the relationship, I'm in no place. It'd be thing. like, like, nah, you can't, that's, you can't hang out. Like, you can't talk to him. I'm in no place to do that. If he was already, like, your boy, boy, boy best friend... Like, since you was kids. The, yeah, or kids. Or, like, let's say your college friend, you feel me? Yeah. Like, if he was, like, before the relationship... That was already your boy best friend, and y'all never did nothing. I can't. I'm. I'm no place to be like, yo, cut, cut him off. Yeah, but, but what if he's moving walkie though? If you, oh, if he's on some horny stuff, like nah, bro. You, I'm talking to myself. You need to relax, bro. Yeah, yeah, respectfully. And I, I was, yo, you know, he wants you. Like, stop. Mm-hmm. But if he comes out of nowhere, like, why y'all talking? Like, yeah, oh, this like, is my best friend. Yeah, like, hold on, no, it's not. You're not getting a boy. Yeah, I'm. You're not getting a boy best friend. When you have a boyfriend. Um, yeah, you're not getting a new boy best friend. Like, like, hold on, who's this guy? Like, like I'm your best yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, like, nah, that's big slow. That's <laughs> big slow. That's so slow. No. No. Nah, I, I do agree with that. I mean, like, like, but if they, like, fall off and stuff, like, during the relationship, like, it's not my fault. Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm never going to be, I'm never going to sabotage, like, for Yeah, me. I ain't going to. But do. respectfully, I want to do something, and he want to do something. You're gonna do what I want to do, mm. and you know. If I don't want to do something, and you want to, he wants to do something. Go ahead. Like for me, like with me and Jay, like, like I, I don't really care. Like she has a boyfriend, best friend, but like, I'm not gonna have like no, like girl best friend. He's my best friend. Yo, I'm about to say, don't worry. He doesn't want a girl best friend. My girlfriend, my girlfriend. <laughs> well, no, he don't want a girl best friend. Trust me. <laughs> he don't even want to look at another girl, bro. I'm telling you, a big juicy booty could walk past him. As we leave in the crib, and guess what? <laughs> He's gonna look at you and be like, "So, uh, what you wanna do tomorrow?" Like, and I'll be like, no. I'm like, "Yo, yo, you seen that ass?" After you, I'm like, "Yo, you seen that girl that walked past with the fat ass?" He's like, "No, what you talking about?" <laughs> You're like the third person saying, "Is this true?" Yeah, nah, I'm, respectfully, but yeah, nah, I understand. But like, like I said, yeah, like you can't, you can't get a wild weird like wild you get word. a new boy best friend. That's no, because you, because you know how slow. what they thinking, bro. That's what I'm I know what I be thinking, so. You know <laughs> what, I mean? you, what you be thinking? I will fuck all my girl best friends. <laughs> every single one. So. If they have a boyfriend, man? Every single one. I would. I wouldn't pursue it, though. That's me, be, that's me being respectful of the relationship. I wouldn't pursue it. But if it came down to it, I would 100% do it. <laughs> so that's how, that's, how, that's how I know how I think. Yo. And you feel me? Like, niggas. I know I'm not the only one that think like this. I know you're not. Yo, you're weird, so I'm not going to say you. Most <laughs> men think like me. They just don't admit it. <laughs> That's true. Most men are just walking hornballs, but they just won't admit it. Like I said, you're weird. <laughs> like, even before you had Jay, I never heard you talk about a girl. Like, so, like, you're just a weirdo, bro. Like, bro, I just... never, th- never thought she was gay, but <laughs> like, yo, you, yo, you see this girl on Instagram? <laughs> No, who that? See, I yo, I mean, yo, that girl's school cute. No, who that? You talking about? Oh, what? Yo, that's really funny because Fritz and UJ say the same thing. I know him longer than you, and you said the same. No. Hey, bro. never heard him talk about a girl before. My girlfriend, my girlfriend, my girlfriend. <laughs> yo. Then again, me and Darius after before fresh beer, me and Darius outside the bench, we didn't talk. I know we didn't. That's your fault. I know, cause like at the time, it's like I saw you guys in my competition, so I like I didn't. Bro, I know we didn't play though. Bro, I was I was too I was a try hard. Supposed to stick together. I know, but look, we just like. Look, I know we good now. We good now, me? bro. I mean, you still on the team, but. <laughs> hey, bro, Coach Log, bro, why you doing dirty like this, bro? You know, you know what you're doing, bro. Like, you why know you... exactly what you're doing, letting a 16 year old on the team. <laughs> yeah, I said it. I said it. Yeah, I think that's a good time to end the podcast. That's so <laughs> Wrap it up. <laughs> hey, bro. Yo, shout out to you, bro. Thank you for joining my podcast, bro. You know, bro. My, all, 
Oh, it's my pleasure, bro. Bro, honestly, if you would have came to me when you wanted to make a podcast, this might have been our podcast. I'm saying, bro, I, I didn't know We'd you. We've been called the Bench Bros. But guess what? The Bench Bros, that would have been a crazy name. That's that would have tough. been tough. But guess what? It's not your fault, bro. You know whose fault it is? I don't have a podcast right now. Pierre Sheck Sal. <laughs> you tall, seven feet piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> we have episodes recorded on your laptop with audio and jokes and footage and straight comedy. And you just don't want to edit it and you don't want to give it up. So <laughs> guess what? I hope you enjoy your D1 school with your white friends and your cocaine and all the <laughs> other stuff you do with your other friends. Kill yourself. I'll call you after this and tell you I'm talking about you. <laughs> yo, yo. Oh, man. But thank you to anybody that's listening. And watching our videos. And if you don't follow us already, follow us on Instagram. We already got TikTok at no regulars, Instagram, no regulars, our podcast. We're going to be uploading audio soon on Anchor and other platforms. But, you know, we about to be out of here, my guy. Yes, I got to go back to the dorms and do some physics. Play some 2K. I got to do my team. I need 2K, bro. I got, I got the 3 o'clock to get this challenge. So I got to do that. You still do them shits? Yes. Yeah, it's just starting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm still. talking about. I forgot. I forgot. New I forgot. 2K just came out. You feel me? But I mean, the challenges and shit. I gotta do it. You have a. You have two ring lights now. There's no reason your player should be lights a light skinned male. I want to see your face scan this. Okay, shit. I got you. I got you. I got a good one. I'm gonna get you a good one. There we go. You have two ring lights. You have no excuse no more. I want to see. You. And I'll be back soon because you feel me. Nah, so, you're gonna I mean, be on another episode though. Because guess what? It's mad shit we didn't talk about. I got mad stuff up here. Word. We got mad other conspiracies, stories, random shit. We we coming back in the more episodes. Don't worry, bro. Hey, let's end it on the uh Oh, know. ASMR? All right, all right. A little look in the camera while we do it though. I'm not looking in the camera. You have to look in the camera, bro. Alright, ready one to the go. But again, thank you for tuning into the podcast. No regulars podcast. You know what I'm saying? We different, they regular, no regular, man. Gangster.